Splitberry Tart. Today I have a little bit more of The Last of Us for you. I'm very excited. I've had a lot of fun with this and it's a completely blind run for me. I know almost nothing about the series. And just in time for the show. How exciting. Let's let everyone know we're live though, because I did the thing where I went live before sending out my notifications. My classic move. Relic Sad Sixers fan, just a spirit. How you guys doing? I'm sending out the tweet to let everyone know we're alive. Google, right? Welcome. Boring, depressed introvert. Welcome. Fire Six, welcome back. Always a pleasure to have you. At ease, soldier. my phone. I'm sending out the tweet to let everyone know we're live. Yeah, I didn't realize how loud the music was. Now I can give you your sword. I wanted to make sure I spelled your name right. This is, yes, this is the place where you watch hot girl play video games. That's correct. You've come to the right place if that's what you're looking for. Gonna be doing yeah, I will absolutely be doing the Dead Space remake, no question. I love Dead Space. I'm very excited for it. Last of Us is great so far. I really, really like it so far. I really like it. Dead Space 2 is like Dead Space 2 was in its own era the best successor to Resident Evil 4, in my opinion. Like, I, I think that Dead Space 2 carries on the what made Resident Evil 4 so good better than Resident Evil 5 did. Oh, is that an L? Okay.
There we go, I got it now. Can unmod the wrong one then. There we go. Recurring issue, I'm sure. Yeah, Dead Space 2 is great. It's scary, it's it's action-y, it's scary, it plays great. I like Isaac. Uh I know some people like the like silent protagonist thing of the first game, but I think it works way better with him being a character. Cause he's not such a I don't know. I it just feel a horror game feels like a weird game to have a silent protagonist for me. Maybe that's just me. All I remember this games was commercials like your mom will hate this. That was just what commercials for games were like. John Romero is gonna make you his bitch type advertisements. It was just like how video games as an industry were. Your mom did hate it. See, that's what's so funny about it is, uh, it probably would be too gory for my mom. But other, if, if there was like a toggle to turn down the gore on it, or if they made like a TV show of it, my mom actually probably would like this space. <laughs> My mom loves John Carpenter's The Thing. Atomic Heart Dub selling the games on Thick Robot Ladies. I feel like, uh... N nowadays, it's less edgy and just horny, you know? And that's good, too. I honestly will probably watch The Last of Us show after I play this, and I, if I like it, I will recommend it to my mom. Because so far, like, other than the fact that it is a video game that you have to play, The Last of Us is, like, totally something my mom would like. My mom loves her zombie dramas and her, you know, her horror and sci-fi and stuff. Karn, welcome back. There you are. I actually want to give you a little badge, Karn. Couldn't remember how to spell your name earlier. Ah, I spelled it wrong. <laughs> I still- Ah, here it is directly in front of me. Surely I cannot spell it wrong now. There we go. Jeff, hello! Welcome back. I gotta listen to your song. I'm so sorry I haven't gotten back to you yet. It's been so busy. You could, yeah, you could have written Karn with the, with the accents from the game, yeah, and then it would be your real nightmare. I could spell. I'm like, look, if, if I was smart, I wouldn't be in this industry. I, my points are not in intelligence, they're in charisma. Roxy Horror, welcome back. You have another part you want to edit with that one? Ooh, okay. Excited to hear it. Yeah, enjoy your bat. You're, you're always supporting the stream. I was like, Karn's always here, Karn's always supporting the stream. I'm gonna give some of the top uh, supporters some badges. You guys earned them. Thanks. Thank you so much. <sighs> yeah, Christmas is the most fun place to put your stat points, in my opinion. Both in real life and in games. My mom talks uh, about it. I will recommend The Last of Us Show to her. I, yeah, I mean, The Last of Us Show is going to be a banger for moms. They're finally going to make 
like ev everyone who's like a zombie head but there's like over 50 is gonna get a chance to experience the last of us i think it'll be cool i gotta say like so far i'm not very far in it but last of us like designs and stuff are all like impeccable so i could see it very easily being a good show it is it's it is probably the easiest video game to adapt to a show of all time right because it's like already a show pretty much I think if you've seen anyone play this that you normally watch. I mean, I am. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I understand what you mean. You cut the teams with your mom and she. Well, it, it's a well written game. It's like written. The Last of Us is like, at least so far, is like written well enough to stack up to like TV shows. Absolutely. Follow the servo skull. Medical expense. We love a nice medical expense. I went to. Th I had to get to therapy today. It was my therapy appointment day, and I I didn't know what to say. I got to therapy and I was like, Lisa, I'm gonna shoot straight at you. My life is going really good. The stream is doing great. I went to Mag and I had a great time. I'm working on some new stuff that I really love. Uh, my surgery healed beautifully. My body feels great. I'm working out again. I, I I genuinely do not have any problems in my life. I left ended up leaving therapy like 20 minutes early. Jasper Kid Jas Jasper Kid does write some bangers. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, Pyramid Guard, it's not for everyone, but what did if you like what it does, it's great. And also, I'll be honest, like I don't always like what it does like the narrative game but it's done so well and it's a kind of setting and you know whatnot that i already like uh i like the protagonist he's really uh well i let's just say i like him a lot uh i like ellie she's really cute i like being her fake dad or whatever and teaching each other to love again or whatever the hell is going on in that plot it, the mo like mushroom monsters are really cool it's just great I got a- yeah, I got a good grade in therapy. Yes, exactly, I'm speedrunning- I, sp I speed ran through my therapy today. I was like, yeah, I don't have any problems, sorry. Hello, Nyx. Welcome back. Meanwhile, my therapist says I use humor to deflect, so I've been medically diagnosed as funny. Hell yeah. I should give Dream a little badge as well. Enjoy your diamond, Dream. My session so yeah, it's a AGDQ. Smart, I should. We did a bail yesterday. We left off. We were just about to meet Dave. We don't know. Who I don't know who he is yet. I don't know what he's like. We just got the bow, or Bill. That's it, Bill, not Dave. Sorry. I knew it was like a very generic, it was just like a generic guy name. Thank you, Ulysses. It's been a lot of fun getting all, you know, cause I had the surgery recovery for so long. It's so fun to get all dolled up and cute. Get on stream and flounce around for you guys. I'm having so much fun. Ulysses. Ah. 
Welcome. It's all coming together. Spleef, thank you. I try. I'm trying. This is my new. The new move for the new year is all of Ira all the time. We we know where our bread is buttered now, baby. Evan Afton William, welcome. Garrulous, welcome back. I've Scott Fitzgerald, how are you? MILF mode. That's right. Gonna miss Tess here, but glad to see- Yeah, I'm very excited. Uh, for those of you who are not in the Discord, Tess, our, our dear co-host Tess for the last year, is moving onward and upwards to her own channel. And right there on Nightbot, you can see the link. I recommend you guys go follow her there. It's gonna be big stuff happening soon. very excited for her to have her own you know she's nervous of course as anyone would be striking it out on their own but it's i think it's going to be great for her to have her own channel with her own you know she has her control over it she can make the content whatever she wants she can have you know get subscriptions to herself and stuff i think it'll be great for her no new co-host in the work it should it is just going to be me baby and there will always be guests. There will always be guests, but it is unlikely we will bring on another full-time streamer. Yeah, that's right. I'll bury all the time, baby. Yeah, it's all very classic, precisely. What is mushroom mode? Oh, we're playing Last of Us. In The Last of Us, the zombies are like mushroom men. And you turn into a zombie by inhaling spores. Or being bitten. Yes, I, my Fridays and weekends will still be off. Tests will still be streaming on those days. So if you still want your, your weekend test streams, they will still be happening. They just will be on her channel instead of mine. I will continue to do Monday through Thursday for the foreseeable future. If the schedule changes, I'll let you guys know. Uh, like I said, I can't really talk about it yet, but I have another project I'm working on that's taking up a fair amount of my time. Uh, that I'm very excited about, but I cannot really talk about yet. So right now I'm trying to not overwork myself. So I'm thinking for the time being, we'll still be doing our usual, you know, 20 hours a week, uh, plus the upcoming project. Yes, weekend test streams will not be going anywhere. Yes, exactly, yeah. Tess is going to be streaming all of her days normally that she is now. Plus, if she chooses, she can pick up additional days now, because it's her own channel. But the weekend streams, I believe, are not going anywhere. It's truly evil, is the thing. I'm, so, I'm sorry to say it just, uh, it, it is truly evil. There will still be crossover episodes, for sure. Yeah, my audience comes here to see me be evil, so I understand what the audience wants and I will deliver it. Ah, uh, we do have the co I have the 2B cosplay and everything. I wore it on a Halloween. It just got away from us on account of, like, my body and mind being brutalized by surgery. I'm 
I want to be streamed, but I'm not hot enough. Only, only medium hot Twitch partners gotta be spicy. <laughs> I don't think that's necessarily true, but it does help. It certainly, it certainly doesn't hurt. I'll say that much. Yoden's daughter, thank you. It's it's honestly, I'm just growing out my pixie, and it's in this what to me I consider to be a very awkward midpoint. But luckily, I have a, a bright shiny pelt that lets you know that I'm healthy. Uh, this is the uh, Prosellini. This is the Dark Tide OST. How are I am good. Kai, how are you? Yeah, if you have VTubing is for, yeah, if you're, if you think you're not hot enough. Lu oh, Lucid! Hello! How you doing, Lucid? Lucid, are you going to PAX East? Dark, yeah, Dark Tide has a really banger soundtrack, that's why I'm playing it. No. Oh well. Try. Oh, unplug. I'll definitely be at unplug because I live in Philly. The oh, fuck! I don't recognize this song from the game at all. I gotta skip it. Always love the pixie look. Pixies rule, even though they can only be entirely evil, entirely good at one moment because they're too small to be both. That's true. I'm definitely evil right now, and also like all the other times before now for my entire life. So if you only few hours drive from VA, so you can just pop up from. Oh hell yeah! Oh you're in VA too. Everybody's in VA. Good God. Every streamer I know. I'm glad to hear that your epidural went well, Kai. Evil, I think you mean bad. Well, being being evil is like part of being a baddie. Unplugged is usually in like uh I think December. Maybe in Richmond. But everybody is in Richmond, okay. So you'll be there, and Justin is there, and Taffy is there. I'm just gonna come bother everyone. I'm gonna come to town and start knocking on doors and bothering everyone. Richmond seems cool, Dead Seinfeld. Somebody asked after my stream last night was like, hey, great stream. Is it something wrong though? You looked like you were like mad or something. And I was like, no, I just have like a, I just have like a bitchy face. I'm sorry. <laughs> My default, like the default way I look is just like. And like, I, I get how somebody sees my face and thinks that. I absolutely have a resting, resting bitch face, big time. Talk at the lads if you are a big 4th of July. Oh, that would be awesome. Let me know if you do that. I'll come down for 4th of July. That sultry face? That's fair. Yeah, I got the surgery to give myself resting bitch face. That's right. Oh, that's Yoki Tadder. That's lovely. Happy for you. Like a unicorn with spines, precisely. David, welcome back. Tweet 
I got that. I think we did that go live thing, right? I never remember when I do stuff. I'm actually, it actually helps me be a better streamer to be as ADHD as I am and to uh, allegedly consume as much THC as I do. Allegedly. Because it just, I never remember anything. It's perfect. It's like, it's like a first reaction every time I do anything in my life. Had a long two days. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Well, at least you're here to relax now. Yeah, I could do the same unboxing five times. Hell yeah. It's like exactly the kind of thing I would do. So exactly when you get out of class. Whoa, awesome. You can come online with us. You can make sure your companion while you dial afternoon to new game plus two Elden Beast. Oh, God bless. Good luck. Make sure you eat your holy proof livers. Oh yeah, a legal name change is such a pain. I just use legal zoom. That helps. My mom was like, I used legal zoom when I got married. And I was like, okay, I'll try that. I have not been reading any of the Magic the Gathering stories lately. I have been watching the new cards come out. Um, but not really reading the stories. I used to be a big, I used to read all the novels as a kid. I used to read, like I read all the entire Mirrodin block novels. Uh, I love Mirrodin, which is why I'm actually interested in the current arc. The old Magic the Gathering cards from around 97. Whoa! That's awesome. Let me cop. Yeah, give them, give them to me. Fun very fact of the day, Barry's actually a Magic the Gathering card come to life. That's true. You may have seen the card that I'm on. It's called Earthbind. That's a fun one, like, just for the people who know Magic the Gathering cards from, like, Alpha. Well, I like sixth grade. I told you my favorite book was the first Mirrodin novel. The first Mirrodin novelization was good. I liked that one. I did Magic the Gathering the summer before last. It's really fun. Don't know if I have the will to get good. I like building decks thematically. That, that's, that is a perfectly valid way to play, in my opinion. I am, I am, like... I don't know. I I think that I know enough about magic and I'm a good enough player that I could be competitive if I wanted to, if I really practiced at it. But it's just so much more fun to play casually. Earth's Minds are, yeah, it's truly wild, isn't it? And for those who knew Magic the Gathering cards that got banned for the art being too hot, yeah, that is Earth. You're thinking of Earthbind. They made a card where you get to turn into Elish Norn's chair. Good God. A little gratuitous. I guess they know their target market. Magic cards, particularly ones thrown by Steve Luke, got me into drawing. Hell yeah! And look at the beautiful work you do now. There's bondage. It, yes, it is, it is literally like a fairy and like BDSM bondage. They really just let people do whatever back then. The Twitch chat wasn't not spamming mommy when people, people are all calling Elish Norn mommy. I know so many people who are obsessed with Elish Norn being their mommy. Tess is, I believe Tess will be streaming this weekend. Um, I announced it in the discord, but we also have the command here. 
Tess is going to be moving to her own channel. She will still be streaming at the same times, so your streams will still be, all be there. But make sure you follow her on twitch.tv slash strongbadegirl. That's right, Tess is all grown up now and she's striking out on her own. Let's go support her, shall we? Click that link and follow Tess. I know I did. Yeah, you haven't- yeah, you have run into Tess like so many times, David. We can get gaming, I think. Let's just go ahead and pop over to our little game. That's not our game. That's a picture of a uh, capybara. Huh. One moment. Let me fix that. Let's get some more music going while I figure that out. You see a hat bobble on the cafe. Ca I love cafes. They're so cute. I love them. They're adorable. They make me happy. There we go. That's more like it. All right, Mechanicus music. You served me well. I get out of here. All right. Capture cards love to fight you and do weird things. They sure do. Capture, yeah, capture cards just kind of do whatever. To be perfectly honest. They just kind of do whatever they want to do. And you, you as the streamer are just kind of forced to grapple, like to, to fight against them. Play some Mechanicus while I get the sound working on this properly. I can beat my big face while I do that. Popeyes? Ooh, enjoy. What headphones? I use a pair of Meze 99 Neos, which I really like. They're very lightweight. The sound quality is really good. I'm a fan.
Hello, Flapjack, how are you? There we go. Okay, yeah, so what's I, the plan? I know, I know. I've just been crouching in place for like what is probably in game like eight hours, Ellie. But we had a lot of, you know, things to do on stream, like listening to music from Dark Tide and others. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 kid, 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 back, kid, back up. All right, whatever. You're far enough, that's fine. This is the remaster of the original. The PS4 remaster, not the remake. <laughs> Kimmy, hello. How are you? You hear that? Yeah. Can I help you? Oh, shit, you're gonna go in there? Let me see what we can find. You're gonna find my body when I die from a heart attack. Don't worry. I got this. You know, I'll be honest, when I opened that door, uh, I was like not that scared, but then I opened the door and there wasn't anything on the other side of it. I'm way more scared than if there was just a thing there. I thought it was gonna be like, okay, I open the door, I kill a zombie, he's just there, I loot. I opened the door, no one was there, I was like, mm, this- this seems way worse. Doing art? Glad to hear it! Megan the Stallion, Beyonce taught me Texans have reinforced knees. Yeah, I was saying that, like, uh... Megan the Stallion's like knee and glute muscles probably go crazy. I saw like one of those guys posting online complaining about how there are people, you know, famous people who are fat these days on account of like they they hate fat people or whatever. And I one of the things they said they were like, I can't believe you know we should be encouraging people to be healthy and not be like Megan the Stallion. I'm like, do you not think Megan the Stallion is in shape? Have you seen the way she throws it back? Like, believe me. She is in better shape than you are, buddy. Our way. It, it's, it's really it's anti thick discrimination, and I will not stand for it. Ass and titties are important, and they need to be protected. I will say, I do kind of wish the AI had a, like, if I run into you, move out of the way thing would be really nice. That's, like, the one thing that's really missing from this. Oh! Uh, Tearsim, thank you for the follow, by the way. I'm sorry I didn't shout you out 15 minutes ago. That thing scared the shit out of me. Well, while we're here, let's search the place. Yeah, I agree. I think Joel should just shove her out of the way. I frankly think that's what the character would do. <laughs> like...
Note to Rachel. Rachel. Soldiers are going door to door, forcing people onto the buses. I hear a couple of buildings down. Time's running out. I tried calling. Waiting. I know what to do. I can't wait anymore. I threw most of our stuff into a couple of suitcases. I'll be waiting for you in the quarantine zone. Come find me. I'll see you soon, Ezra. Do you think they ever found each other? How the hell would I know? <laughs> yeah, I'd like to think they did. I saw a tweet that was like, uh, the new Last of Us show is good, but there should be more parts where Joe Crab walks through an office and picks up broken scissors and bandages. And now I can't, like, unsee it when I do it. I think the lead pipe or the monkey wrench has a higher zombie body count. I haven't seen the monkey wrench yet. So for me, it's definitely the lead pipe. The fact that this guy goes inside buildings at all without his respirator on is incredibly brave. I would I wouldn't be inside any contained area without a respirator on if I was like an in this world. You don't know. Do I have the brick? I don't have any bricks right now, but I'm sure I could go outside and get some off the ground where bricks grow. The AI is a good time, but now we have God of War set. I haven't played uh, the God of War games yet. Just hold a brick when you need to calm down. That's so true. Yeah, exactly. Plant, plant, uh, plant a brick tree. They grow up out of the ground. So, has anyone here played Seven Days to Die? Let's get the hell out of here. In Seven Days to Die, there rocks, or not Seven Days to Die, the forest. In the forest, rocks are one of the building materials you can use. Uh, it, but they respawn like ridiculously fast to the point where it's like you can just like watch rocks grow around you at any given time. The forest is super goofy. It's a ton of fun, but it's super goofy. It, it radiates jank. All right, I got a brick to carry around to make you feel better. Video game notes be like, the zombies can't get in, the shotgun will hold them back. And the note is next to a skeleton with a shotgun. Yeah, truly. One way to do it. I hope I get to be an environmental storytelling skeleton when I die. I like the shaker controller to fix the flashlight thing. Wow, that was a lot of ammo. Eight rounds for the uh, revolver. Jeez, okay. Where is no not I don't want to use Molotovs here. Don't don't yeah, put that lit Molotov pocket back in your pocket, please. Or some glass bottles or something. I'll just take those and throw those at stuff. Be the one jack in it. Like that like the body they found in Pompeii. Well, you win some, you lose some. I'll just shoot it with my gun now. There we go. You have to start dropping 20 second voice recordings everywhere you go. Yeah, I've, I've been going around writing notes to my f colleagues and friends and being like, remember that the safe password is 1894. That's 1894 to the safe. Just stay close. I'm 
I'm not entirely sure the difference between the revolver and the handgun. I can only assume the revolver does more damage to compensate for the fact that it's a six shooter. Whoa! I got you. Damn it, Bill. What just happened? Classic Bill moment. Another one of Bill's stupid traps. There, that fridge, it looks like that's a counterweight. Okay. This guy is obsessed with traps. Cut that rope, and it'll bring me down. On it! Oh, no. Joel! Oh, am I gonna... Yeah, it's the same! Shit, yes! I know what's happening now. Man, my aiming stability up here is awful! Which I guess is, you know, is to be expected, but still. Good god, it's hard to shoot like this. Woo! There we go. Oh, that's a fucking clicker, isn't it? Yeah, no, you go on the ground, buddy. Do not come in here. No, 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 no. Don't, don't, don't come in here. Don't come in here. Hey, Tom, Ellie. Hold on. Woo! You alright? Yeah. Come on, you can do it. Well, we're safe at least now. God damn it. I might as well reload. Whoa! Wait for my surrogate daughter! She's teaching me how to love again! Help! Oh shit! What part of my surrogate daughter is teaching me how to love again do you not understand? Oh, there's a clicker in here? Oh. Jesus Christ! I'm... Baby, I'm trying! <sighs> Woo! I hope you guys like lead pipe! <laughs> Whoa! Swag! Yeah, I guess Ellie just instant died getting grabbed by the clicker. They probably it was probably too annoying mechanically. Go go go! This is an awesome sequence. Get a shot of the fridge. No kidding. Oh! Pipe time! Let's go! Oh yeah, I forgot. She it doesn't matter if she gets bit anyway because she she would have to like be killed by the wound. Cuz she's immune to the Oh no, my pipe. I hit I hit the melee attack one too many times. I ran out of pipe. Has this ever happened to you folks? All right, let's do this. Okay, I know it does- it doesn't- not that it doesn't matter if she gets bit, but it's way less of a big deal if she gets bit. To 
considering that, like, the alternative is, like, the bite is instantaneous death sentence. And for her, it just means she got bit, and that's pretty messed up. Guys, guys, I would never make a euphemism, especially not a sexual euphemism. Me? Man, I'm like the LeBron James of missing. Woo! Okay. Full up on rags? Am I? Oh shit, I guess I'll make up some Molotovs. That way I can pick up some more rags. There we go. It seems like there's actually a kind of a small amount of rags in this laundromat. Come in. Man, that was close. Uh, thanks for the heroics and all. Uh, Ellie. Hey, what are you, Joel? Bill. What are you doing? Bill. Turn around and get on your knees. Just calm down a second. Turn around. All right. And get on your knees. Don't test me. Just take it easy. Right. Any bites? No. Anything sprouting? Oh, God damn it, I'm clean. Well, if I see so much as a drug. <laughs> Ow! Stop! Son of a bitch! Are you done? Am I done? <laughs> Get you him. Come into my house. You set off all my traps. You damn near break my shooting arm. Who the fuck is this punk, and what's she doing here? I am none of your goddamn business, and we're here because you owe Joel some favors. And oh. you can start by taking these off. I owe Joel some favors. Is some kind of joke? I'll cut to the I like her. She's cool. I need a car. Well, it is a joke. Joel needs a car. Well, if I had one that works, which I sure as hell don't, what makes you think I'd just give it to you? Huh? Yeah, sure, Joel. Go ahead. Take my car. Take all my food, too, while you're at it. By the looks of it, you could lose some of that food. You listen to me, you little shit. No, fuck you! You handcuff me! I you. need you to shut up. All right? Whatever favors you think I owe you ain't worth that much. Actually, Bill, they are. Well, it don't matter, because I don't have a car that works. But there is one in this town. <laughs> there are parts in this town. Meaning that you could fix one up. All right, if I'm gonna do this, there's some gear I'm gonna need. All right. It's on the other side of town. Now you help me go gather it, and maybe I can put something together that runs. But after this, I owe you nothing. That's fine. A couple of days from now, we'll probably be dead anyway. Good. Follow me. Oh, goddamn town's booby trap. Best stay right on my ass. Can't miss it. Knock it off. <laughs> <laughs> I love her. All right. She's so sassy. Any supplies you may want or need, I suggest you grab them. All right, thank you. Ellie, take a look around, see if there's anything we can use. All righty. I like that he let us take stuff. He's like, all right, you fuck, first of all, fuck you. I hope you die. Anyway, if you want to crab walk through my house and take whatever shit you want, that's fine. Man, are you sure? Cause you seem like you hate that I'm here. <laughs> Barricade safe. I got a safe. I wonder if that. Huh. Yeah, exactly. Take all the pieces of paper and water drop shapes that you want. You know how to play this? Yeah, pretty badly, yeah. I always wanted to learn. Hey, Bobby Fisher! Don't touch anything <laughs> on that board! <laughs> oh, that's good! Just let it go. Bobby Fisher is a former chess grandmaster.
Shivs left one hit. Ooh, wow, that's actually really good. Shivs are really valuable in this game. Drop for a bit. Thanks for hanging out, Dream. If you're back in time, we'd love to see you again, but if not, have a nice night. Found everything you need. We're good. As as much as I can, man. Let's do it. Alright, Ellie, come on. Don't leave the door open. I got it. We have to cross to the other building. Up the stairs. Let's move it. Just stay with me. Can't believe you agreed to this bullshit, Bill. What you should have done was just left him back there. You weren't kidding about him. Yeah, he's one of a kind. Yeah, this guy sucks. Let me take a look around up here. Nothing in there that I need. All right. Go ahead, take whatever you want. Thanks. Hunter's note. Saw a group of hunters coming dangerously close to town. Luckily, a pack of infected chased them off. Reminder, put up more warning signs. Let them know you're serious. <laughs> yeah, taking out my instantly lit Molotov and then putting it back in my pocket. Extinguishing it. Just like in real life. God. It's so good. Oh, I, I will say that this, this Bill guy is like... The kind of guy that you maybe let get killed if you're in a zombie survival situation with him. What kind of trouble are you in? Where the hell's Ted? It's just a job. S simple drop off. What are you delivering? <laughs> that little brat? Haha. <laughs> Fuck you too. <laughs> oh. You know, I, I hope you know what you're doing. Do you know this guy? Where are we going, Bill? My other safe house. More of an armory. Wait, I thought we were gonna fix up a car. We? You know how to fix Bill, a just... Just like I said, what I need is on the other side of town. Now that side I don't ever go to because it's filled with infected. So we're gonna need more guns. Ah, I see. Not enough people set up a uh, Left 4 Dead style killing rooms in post apocalypses. I gotta say, I think it actually would work pretty well in real life. Not enough spinning blade traps. Yeah, even just like a big hole with some leaves over it would probably do numbers. Just like an electrified fence. Shh, shh, shh. Oh. Oh, damn, you'll take care of that. Relax, it's nothing. No, you didn't answer my question about Tess. Yeah, I thought the two of you were inseparable. <laughs> She's busy. <laughs> yeah, sure. Busy. <laughs> Sounds to me. Like might be trouble in paradise. Yeah, something like that. Uh, Rice Phoenix, about 20 years, I believe, it's been going on for, because we, we opened the game, and it's just starting to happen, and then we have a 20-year time skip. So, why don't you fix one of these cars? Oh my god, you're a genius. I mean, the whole time, why on earth hadn't I thought about fixing one of these cars? Okay, don't be a dick. Their tires are rotted and their batteries are dead. Are you done? Can't even begin to think what the inside of the engine block look like. Only ones making new car batteries are the military. Infected! Shit. Lock and load. Thank you, Ellie. No shit. Arrows are more lethal when shot at enemies that are unaware of you. Good to know. 
Those, the, I gotta say, those clickers are no joke. It's so funny how the fights dissolve into some, like, Streets of Rage beatdown sometimes. Alright. You gotta check the barricades again. You neglect the simple shit, and now you're paying for it. You know what that means? Taking all the supplies from the warehouse okay. and plug into the well, east fence again. Then it'll take Bill. You. Joel. This way. Anything over here? <clears throat> up go. Man, look, uh, I'm looking for bricks and stuff to pick up. Hold on. What is Ellie doing? I don't know, teen stuff. I don't know, teen, you know. Whatever teen girls do in the post apocalypse. Pouting over some boy. The boy I liked at school got turned into a zombie. Well, you picked a hell of a place to hold up, didn't you? You know, as bad as those things are, at least they're predictable. The normal people would scare me. Wow, it's almost like you made it. He's the real monster. What is that? Whoa! Nothing. You are you, you just know it's gonna go there eventually. Sure they're gonna <laughs> hold them. Well, I locked it. They don't have a key. Everyone wants the true monster to be man, but sometimes the true monster is is a monster, as well. That's the duality of man. So which way? We're here. It's in the cellar. F. Scott Fitzgerald, go off. Right down here. Well, here we are. You don't touch anything. And you close the door. <laughs> Let's gear up. Uh-uh. What? I need a gun. No, you don't. Joel, I can handle myself. No. Just stay here. It's fine. Just wait around for you two to get me killed. Well, this goes on record as the worst fucking job you've ever taken. Yeah, it's up there. How in the hell is Tess okay with this suicide mission? It's actually her idea. Really? Well, the broad's not as smart as I thought she was. What? Fucker. Seriously, you gotta take that kid back to where you found her. No, I can't just take her back. Then send her packing. Let her find her own way. Look, let me tell you a story. Once upon a time, I had somebody that I cared about. A partner. Somebody I had to look after. And in this world, that sort of shit's good for one thing. Getting you killed. So you know what I did? I wisened the fuck up. And I realized it's gotta be just me. Bill, it ain't, it ain't like that. It's bullshit. It is just like that. Hey! What'd I say to you when we walked down the steps? What'd I say? I'm just fixing your stupid pile. Don't touch. God damn it. <laughs> you keep babysitting long enough and eventually it's gonna blow up in Bill, your face. Let me please just get on with it. Here. Let's get on with it. New weapon, shotgun. All right, All right let's go. Talk about finally a real gun. Finally something with some stopping power. New toy from the toy box.
Yeah, you're, you're literally 13, get owned. Yeah, for real. But see, the problem is he keeps trying to beef with a teenager. Teenagers have infinite energy to beef. They're young and they're mad. Yeah, I'm do yeah, I do my best to stay alive, not become an environmental storytelling skeleton. It's one of my one of my goals. Dress is a little big. There we go. That's better. Oh, it's a church. Wow, what a cool set piece. Ah, oh, I was hoping I could play the organ. I don't know why would Joel be able to do that. It doesn't actually seem the kind of thing he'd be able to do. But I wanted to try. Yeah, right, I'll, I'll have a note on me with a password to a safe and a shotgun and I'm just a skeleton now somehow. Yeah, what do the pills do exactly? Oh shit, I- you can upgrade skills! I haven't done any of this! Whoa, okay, I have like all the pills from my entire game so far here. Um... Use a shiv to save yourself from grab by a clicker. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. I didn't realize random pills made you learn sick skills and abilities. I should have figured they'd just do the same thing they do in real life. Get rid of weapon sway as much as I can. Okay. Next time I get pills, I'll do that. That makes sense, because I miss shots all the time because of weapon sway in this. Pills are estrogen. I hope not. I like how rugged Joel is. I mean, if he wants them, God bless him, but wouldn't be my design choice for Joel. Let's see what's in here. Ooh! Yes! Tools level one! Let's go! I needed that to uh, give myself another gun holster, which is what I really want. Yeah, and a crafting bench. Awesome. Okay. Here we go. Add a holster for a second pistol. Excellent. That's the stuff. Maybe I'll do the same thing for the long gun. Yeah, we're going holster mode. There we go. You can put the scope on the rifle. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Put the scope on the rifle. Let's see. Yeah, real holster heads know what's up. That's right. Yeah, they're, they're, they're the Alex Jones supplement. Remember the supplement Alex Jones did where he did a before and after, and it's the same picture of him, but he's red now? That's what we take to, like, gain experience in this game. There we go. <laughs> the way you take all the items is very funny looking in this. Uh, 
Oh, Joel's here? The guy who shimmies through our building and picks up all the rags and scissors? This is a nail bomb. You gotta be really careful. This thing blows, it shreds anybody standing there by. Yeah, I've seen your handiwork. Pretty good, huh? Powerful bombs explode when enemy gets close. Use defensively or defensively. You can be thrown with it. How do you how do you defensively throw a nail bomb at somebody? <laughs> and, uh, you nail bomb them in self defense. Uh, you can be thrown with L two or play strategically with R two. Undetonated bombs can always be retrieved. Whoa! Undetonated bombs can be retrieved. That's really cool. So we got shotguns and bombs. What the hell are we doing with them? Well, every few weeks this military caravan rides through town. I assume they're out looking for supplies. I mean, you, you'd be amazed at the shit that they overlook. Anyway, a few months back, they were rolling through and they get overrun by this horde of infected. They were all over the truck. It plows right in the side of the high school. Still sitting there with a the battery in it. So we take that battery and we put it in another car. Bingo. I wanted to get it, but it seemed too dangerous with all the infected on that part of town. But fuck it. Joel needs a car. Hey, what if it's damaged? Nah, those trucks are like tanks. Just sitting there. Makes it my work. All right, I'm warming up to Bill a little bit. He's not as bad as I thought. I thought he was going to be your standard, like, zombie survival scenario, like, try hard, loner, alpha male type guy. I, I can't stand that type of guy. They're always the guy that gets you killed. I am now seeing that he's just a weirdo. Yeah, makeshift infection detectors are built into every nail bomb. I love that, like, he's like, here you go. It's a can full of explosives with scissors and knives sticking out of it. Anyway, put it in your pocket. It's like... Uh, okay, Bill. Alright, boss. Yeah, exactly. Coochie Johnson, how do you store that as a cover? It's literally made of knives, like... Kid, I swear to God, if you took anything... Hey, man, I don't need any of your shit. Trust me. Joel, you are keeping an eye on her, right? Like a hawk. Go, 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 go. Ah, we're gonna go pray. Nice place you got here. Yeah, uh, yeah, j just a side She almost yeah, definitely took something. Best. This would be the place to do it. And will you either cause a huge interpersonal problem or save us later, one or the other? Maybe both. All right. Time to sack up. Man, this is okay. If you say this is the way to go. Joe mantles so fast. He he mantles so much faster than any other part of his movement. There's a school. All right. Lincoln High School. Guess we'll find out. Crowbot Rock with the five gift subs. <laughs> Free Bear Two, Noob Tunes, Bog Mummy, Drew Traveler, uh, or Blues Traveler NFT. <laughs> Great username. And Zero D Britannia. Enjoy your gift subs. And Crow with the five gift subs. Thank you so much. Bring you to 138 for the channel. A very impressive number. We are user-supported streams. Your guys' gift subs, your subs, your donations, they're always so appreciated. Thank you so, so much. Let's get a move on. Yes, Bill. <sighs> Past this gate, it's all new territory to me. Yes, sir. I'm on it. Hey, hey, you guys hear that? Keep quiet. I heard it sound like a clicker. I do like that at least so far, both kinds of zombies we've seen are not set off by the light, which like actually make it like it mechanically is like a very good decision. It means you don't have to be in the dark all the time, which is like one of the things about like Splinter Cell and a lot of stealth games is you just end up sitting in the dark the whole time. Um, 
Let's take a look at what we got. We can make another knife. With nail bombs, you use blade and explosive. Ooh, do I want to make a oh, yeah. shiv or do I want to make a... I could do both, actually. That's right, Nightbot. My lovely co-host Tess has moved on to the greener pastures of her own channel. Make sure you follow twitch.tv slash strongbydegirl. Put that there. Now I'm gonna back up. I'm gonna swap. Oh, that's not the right button. I'm gonna swap this out for my rifle. X to zoom. All right. Not a very impressive zoom, but that's okay. Yeah, that felt pretty good. That felt pretty good. That felt pretty cool. Kegger, go for it. Fucking we'll be here when you get back. Yeah, get a shot of the fridge. That one felt very satisfying. Let's turn those guys into hamburger helper. I'm gonna do some to a fine mist. Use my Joel senses. Ah, there we go. I smelled them. There they are. Thank you, Earth Nuggets. I felt pretty good about that play. You gotta smell- yeah, you gotta smell for the zombies. I think it's very, like, bold, uh, to assume that you'll just be able to hear all of them, or see them all. No, we're using all of our senses for survival. <sighs> Ugh. Three of them. Not my ideal, I'll tell you that. The problem with these guys, too, is that you can't... You can't even headshot one-shot them. They're such a, like... Ugh. One, they're a resource sink, which is a pain in the ass. But, uh, they're just, like, hard, difficult to take down. In a way that doesn't leave you either vulnerable or down in resources. Oh yeah, I forgot I upgraded my shivs. Now they're way better. Okay. Oh, yeah, like, like, uh, Father Gascoigne. Oh, the sweet blood, it sings to me. He's so fine. Is that shotgun ammo? Oh, you're right, that is shot. Sorry, I thought that was rifle ammo. I saw the red outline around it. I assumed that that meant I was on max. It does not seem to be the case, actually. Put my Molotov away in my pocket. Shivved. Just like that. Yeah, Perry, I, I definitely thought that that was, uh... I was at max because of the red outline. There he is. Yeah, it's a weird design decision for a game that otherwise is packed full of what I would consider really good, astute design decisions based on, like, years of what's worked in games. That's, like, the one thing that's weird. But that's, like, not a huge deal for a thing to be weird. Keep doing it like that. Uh, I want 
want them- I'm gonna see if I can get them to wait and see if they'll group up again. Can I actually- could I just... Yeah, there we go! <laughs> Barbecue time! Yeah, I'm like kind of a psycho. I think that's it. Good job. Nothing in the clear yet. Yay, more pills. Or whatever. I really wouldn't put my left arm anywhere near the mouths like Joel. The, the fact that Joel like will just like hook off on the runner zombies is insane. Take a board. It's better than nothing. At least a board can defend us from clickers. I, I like that we've gotten to the point where all different kinds of media properties love to give the different kinds of zombies snappy two-syllable names like Left 4 Dead. It's a really good system. Is there like a brick or a bottle or something around here I could use? Okay, let's see. Nope. Oh well. From- I don't- I never played Days Gone. What was that for? Oh, I missed. Oh well. There we go. That works fine. Ellie, you had a brick this whole time? I could have used that. Whatever. Hey, look. You're still alive. Oh, is Days Gone the game that the, the creator was on Twitter and was like, people didn't play Days Gone because of the woke media or whatever? And everyone was like, bro, what are you talking about? Your game got fine reviews and it did, like, okay. Like... Yeah, exactly. Like, if it wasn't really SJWs, it would have sold a million copies. It's like, would it, man? Man, I gotta get the, uh, the gun sway fixed on that. The fact that he does this is insane. You're gonna- like, he punches the zombies in the face? That's where their teeth are! They must have to, like, really get you in this world for you to die or get infected because the way that people just, like, hook off on zombies in this is crazy. Ah, oh, damn. I thought I was trying to hit more than one there. I missed him. Oh, I got the clicker. These guys are just like, guys. Oh, yes! You caught yourself on fire because you're stupid! That's a W. Anyway, I got punches for you, so... I don't even have to, like, worry about you. You're not real. What, you, what about a zombie game would SJWs care about? Well, his his accusation was that there he's uh, the the protagonist was too cool and manly, and and uh, liked to see sexy women and stuff. And the SJWs hate that apparently. Everyone, literally everybody was just like, "Bro, what are you talking about, man? <laughs> like, no, no, nobody knows what you're talking about." <gasps> Yeah, is that like it? And the uh, yeah, the character is his wife too. It's not like he like the is the woman that he's horny for isn't like a random woman. He's like horny for his wife all game. The SJ yeah, like the SJWs hate it when you love your wife or whatever. It was very funny. At any rate, it was it it was certainly like a completely like not serious. I mean, he was serious, but like as far as like not worth getting mad about. This is very very funny. Otherwise, thank you for the follow. Welcome aboard. I'm Bloodberry Tart, your Elvira for modern and retro horror gaming. I'm so excited to have you. 
Alright, flashlight on. Let's crab walk through some rooms, picking up rags. Firefly pendant. What is that? Oh, uh, they're like dog tags. Okay. It's just so funny, the idea of, like... Like, I'm, I'm pretty sure everybody likes sexy ladies in their game. People haven't been mad about sexy ladies in games for, like, ten years now. And even when they were, it didn't last that long. The game... I don't know! It's a good question. Yeah, did anyone play it? Give me a gun. I can help you kill some of these fuckers. Shut up. Just shut up. I'm surprised we don't like give her at least like a like a knife or something. Like I get not wanting her to be in the scrap, but like I feel like it'd be a good idea or something. But what do I know? I'm just a dog. Oh, quick, go into smell vision. There they are. I need to find more pills so my weapon sway can get lower. So, looks like two runners and one clicker. Obviously the clicker being the priority. The central mechanic was a motorcycle that ran out of gas every half a mile. Hell yeah. We call that gaming, baby. That's true gaming for true gamers. There we go. Cook him. Quick, smell the last one. Oh, there she is. Come in this way. Shiv! God, weapon sway is brutal. <laughs> yeah, the other guy had to do some pathfinding, truly. Speaking of pathfinding, did you hear about this, uh, Wizards Open Game License stuff? Nutty. I'm glad they walked it back. Streets blocked. Back up. Let's go through those backyards. Yeah, but bullying works, yeah. This way. It's tied on the other side. What about going through here? What, the doggy door? But like, it's tied on the other side, but we could open it. Just push it open and you cut it with your machete. We're gonna look around first anyway. Just play better RPG like Lancer. Yeah, that's fair. Usual, yeah, Hasbro has been making tons of mistakes with Wizards of the Coast properties. They're like printing way too many magic cards and the power creep is out of control now. Like, they tried to do this stuff with D&D. Man. That they're, they could use somebody who's better at brand management. You'd think with the amount of money they make, they could hire somebody. Alright, well we got what we... We're looking for, I suppose. Yeah, let's, all right. Let's go doggy door mode. <clears throat> Very careful. Of course. Maybe you should have given her a gun. Okay, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> 
Aww. What are those clicker things inside the house? Oh, shit. They ain't seen us yet. You stay down. Doing great, Martin. Welcome back. We are surviving the post apocalypse, or whatever it may be called. It's weird that people don't get it's they don't get the D and D's value is defined by how many people are playing it and not the product itself directly. Yeah, totally. Well, it's like almost everyone who plays D and D doesn't play by the official rules anyway. You know, it's just like that's not like what makes D and D successful in the way it's successful. I'm sure I appreciate the choir here, obviously. I thought that was going to be a two for one. I'm bummed. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Uh, Alright, I made a mistake. Ooh, okay, so the shotgun's actually, like, goaded. We're getting close now. We're going to have to be quick about it. Go in, grab the battery, get the fuck out. I don't want to get trapped over there. All right, I get it. Yeah, we did learn the shotgun rules, that's for sure. Yeah, exactly. The value of D&D is, like, how many people play it. People are, like, vaguely familiar with the rules already, or at least the part... Like, people are familiar with the parts of the rules that people don't, like... Table, like, you know, house rule away, like initiative and stuff. And that's all valuable to them, but like if people stop playing that start playing something else, like it's, you know, good luck. Most of the official campaigns suck. Coast Curse of Strahd and Storm King's Thunder are the only ones that stand out. I only know about the Tomb of Horrors. I've played D&D before, but I don't know anything about official modules. I just play whatever my friends drop me into. Savage Starlight, the movie. Ah, go Bighorns! He's looking for a word where a switch because he's dropping the ball. They love to drop the ball. I, every Magic the Gathering group chat I'm in is just a bunch of people being like, Yo, fuck wizards! <laughs> Which is very funny. Finding D&D rules really just means, means flipping back and forth through multiple books to check things. Not a great experience. Yeah, the, the thing about D&D's like, native rules is it like works better as a video game than it works as a tabletop game. Because, like, if all of the, like, numbers stuff is is done by a computer on the back end, that's, like, fine. But if you have to do it yourself, it's agonizing. What do I play generally? I, like, I play face characters. I like to play like, rogues and stuff. I like talking my way out of problems. And, like, being charming and stuff. All Hasbro's, uh, all Hasbro changing that would have uh, killed people's D&D &D podcasts and other media. They wouldn't necessarily make more money. Yeah, that's the thing. It's just like, people would just stop making D&D podcasts is really what it comes down to. Come on, From what I understand, though, it didn't seem like podcasts were hit. It seemed like what was hit was like people making third-party books and scenarios and stuff. Based on what I read, it didn't seem like it was hitting podcasts, but maybe I was wrong. Maybe the way I was reading it was incorrect. I think we're good. For now. Bitten, right? It was definitely vague enough okay. to worry, I agree. I'm good. We're all fine, let's just keep going. Oops. 
Yeah, Crop Pilgrim, I, I seem to understand that it was specifically about modules and stuff, but I do agree that it is not a good precedent to set if you want to do D&D-based content, that's for sure. Yeah, they wanted to become Steam for D&D adventures, yeah, truly. You know, they could still kind of do that if they wanted to. They could become like a digital publishing house and charge that rate as part of their platform. Like, there's ways they could do that. The reason Steam is successful isn't because they have a vice grip on licenses, it's because they provide a useful service. They could do that. And so they could take whatever they wanted from people doing D&D &D stuff if they felt like it. I mean, I, I kind of like... If you're selling, if you're like letting people sell stuff, I get being like, hey, like we want some kind of, uh, we want some kind of ability to use that, but you should at least have to credit them or something. I get, I, I could get if they were like, hey, if we want to use some of your stuff, we get, you know, we are able to purchase it from you for X rate or something like that. Like, I don't know, based on metric, based on like popularity metrics, but like, the, they're just like, oh, your thing you made, it's mine now is like maybe not the best strategy for the business. After the fact, they claimed it was all only there to control people so they didn't make fashy sit with D&D. &D. I do not buy that at all. No way. That's a cover. Like, first of all, the community is doing fine, like, you know, self-getting those kinds of people out of it anyway. Like, they don't need uh, Hasbro to do it. And second of all, just it, it's just so bald-faced bull. I'm sorry. If Gary Gygax is watching the stream, I'm so sorry for everything I'm saying. I know Gary Gygax is dead, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Gary Gax watching the stream from Fey Run, where he went when he died. Oh, that was a whole ass shiv I picked up. That wasn't even scissors. Cool. Stop yelling at me, Bill. I'm crab walking around the house. More scissors. Yeah, Gary Gygax watches all of my streams, that's right. Painting minis again after 15 years. Mix of Vejo and Game Workshop's paints. First time I opened a Game Workshop paint, oh, I spilled half of it on myself. Oh no, I'm sorry to hear that. Ah! Damocles Rising. We all remember that hit media property. Boy's Diary. October 4th, it's official. School is closed indefinitely. I guess this outbreak is good for something. No school equals no homework, which is fine by me. Now what do I do with all this free time? October 5th, mom and dad were fighting. They were somehow yelling at each other while whispering at the same time. It's not like mom wants to leave, go to her sister's. Dad says it's safe here. The outbreak, outbreak will not reach our town. October 6th, dad yelled at me for listening to the radio. Uh, he says, news is bullshit. Mom agreed with him while trying to put on a brave face, but I can tell she's scared. They both look scared. I think Dad felt bad about yesterday. Gadget was asleep in my bed, and Dad didn't say anything about it. He came in, petted him, sighed, and walked out. I've never seen him like this. October 10th, three days later. Dad was consoling Mom last night. Aunt Karen is dead. At least that's what I think I heard. When we sat for breakfast, everyone was all quiet, as if nothing happened. I played along. October 15th. Damn, this is long. October 15th. Officer Jones stopped by and chatted with Dad. More like whispered with Dad. Lots of that going around these days. Afterward, Dad told us we need to leave town. We have to go to a new home. The military will protect us. I'm only allowed to bring one bag with me. Mom just sat there. October 16th. Where we're going, there are no pets allowed. We drove to the edge of town with Gadget. I took off his collar and let him go. On the drive back, Dad kept talking about how he'll be fine. He's meant to be free in the wild. Whatever. 
October 17th. It's time. Dad sick will be back before we know it. I think he's full of it. That is very sad. Good God. Hey, you got a second? Yeah, sure. What's up, kid? Yeah. I... I just want to say I'm sorry about Tess. That's it. I, I won't bring her up again. Ellie. It's okay. She's on her own channel now. You don't need to worry about me. You should go check on Bill. Okay. Smiles, Michelle, thank you for the follow. Welcome aboard. I'm Bloodberry Tart. You're Elvira for modern and retro horror gaming, and I'm so happy to have you. Welcome aboard. Stinky in here. Whoa! Hint? Lift the garage door with- Okay. Our game's like, alright, go do, like, the game. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, game, sir. I keep trying to press square to pick stuff up, like Dark Tide. I tell you, there's that truck sticking out of the school right there. Come on. There's a bunch of them up there. Try not to make a sound. Ugh. There's a lot, a lot of guys now. Do I have the ability to make a second shiv? I could really use a second shiv. Yeah, I do. Cool. Use my Joel's smell of vision to detect all these guys. Oh, these are just like regular. These aren't even clickers. Who cares? These aren't even real enemies to me. I, I just punch them to death. It like almost feels like a waste to use shivs on them, frankly. <laughs> Crazy Joseph. Anyone know if the Ellie Funko Pop will be back in stock? Need it for my PC. I have no idea. I didn't even know there was one. Ah, you saw me, damn it. it. Alright, let's go. It's sold everywhere online, bummer. If there aren't clickers, it's like, why even bother sneaking? It's just like, go Streets of Rage mode on them. That's the real move. Oh, scary. I understand the Funko pain, honestly, because I'm that way about amiibos. I love to buy an amiibo, even though it's stupid of me to do. I love it. I just think they're cute. Do I also regen health? Like me personally or like Joel? I think it's yes either way. But Joel does it faster than I do. Nope, not smell of visioning anyone. You s Get back. 
Find a blade to your melee weapons to create a more brutal attack. <laughs> Thanks. There's a bunch of them up there. Try not to make a sound. I'd love to create a more brutal attack. She said fuck you to the zombies. I, I get it. I feel like if I were in a zombie survival situation, I might say some... Hurl some unnecessary insults at some zombies that don't even have brains. Oh shit, I gotta get out of here. Clean up time. We took care of it. I thought it'd be. They must be holed up somewhere else. God, the shotgun's so nasty in this. How do we get inside? Patch myself up. Good as new. See? That wasn't so bad. Alright, kid, let's go. We'll go find some K-pops for you or whatever you guys like these days. Welcome home, Eagles! Yeah, let's go, Eagles, baby! Go, birds! Wild part is still so many of these after 20 years. A lot of people in the world. Ah, I see. Get killed up there. Thanks, Bill. Oh, uh, yeah. Check for items. I my problem with games like this is I'm such a like a raccoon person that it's so hard for me to not just like scrounge every corner for items. We're okay. We just need to get to the hood of the truck. Shit, you hear that? They're coming. Move it, kid. All right, let's get out of here. We're gonna get in quick. We're gonna get the battery. We're gonna get the hell out of here. God damn it! They're locked. We have to get inside to get the battery. Come on, Bill. Got it! Windows open! Hurry! We gotta weigh in! Whoa! <laughs> oh my god! Whoa. That's not gonna hold! We'll make it fast! Grab this! Please tell me you're done! It's empty. What? Fucking empty! Guys! Bill, where to? Uh, Bill, where? Anywhere but here. You made a haul ass, come on. They've broken through. Oh, man. Go Shout out to Smiling Aiden for the follow and the Ghosts of Veteran Stadium for the $10 donation. Thank you so much, Ghost of Veteran Stadium. Thank you for your service. Maybe Ellie has like a second mutation where in addition to being immune to viruses, her eardrums are also like immune to like getting really messed up.
Maddox, Kineston Kent with the $5 tip. Thank you so much. Punch, punch. Come on. Oh, no, shit. You're a, you're a, you're a, uh, what are you guys called? Shroomers or whatever. No! I went to punch the other guy. Clickers use echolocation to find their targets. Oh, that's why they click. They use echolocation like a bat. Oh, that's sick. Yeah, coomers, that's what they're called, right? <laughs> Use my smell of vision. Damn aim shake. I'm gonna cure it one of these days. Alright, until then though. Let's crouch. Big audience. What you you mean in the stream or just in, in the game? Because either way, yeah. No kidding. Woo! Collect collect around my spot. You little weirdos. You guys love to go to where I tell you to go, right? You know, I might- here, I'm gonna try to do this a little, uh, more elegantly. Do it like an artiste would do it. There we go. Well, never mind, I guess we're not being quiet anymore. All right, time to get my rage out. Down the hall. I bet we can cut through those classrooms. Joel, you're going the wrong way. Through here. Shut up! I got. I'm looking for hidden trinkets. The shotgun is nasty in this. It, I mean, it, it's a zombie survival th like thing. In, in a real life zombie survival thing, the shotgun would be nasty too. I suppose. But, God, it feels good to use. My father always taught me that if there was a zombie apocalypse, to go with the shotgun. That's actually true. He's like, pick the gun that you can't miss with. Pick the gun you can't miss with, Barry. And I was like, okay. I don't know if that's gonna happen, Dad. Yeah, exactly. You don't have time to, like, aim and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, Joel has a flashlight. I just didn't have it on. He has, he has one of those, like, Silent Hill chest flashlights that exist in, like, every video game, but nowhere in real life. Are they flanking us? Yeah, they are, okay. Smarter than I expected from these guys. The Canadian wood cutting, yeah. No, she's that, that's definitely something you want on your side. That The lady from TikTok who's like really muscular and is like a lumberjack and cuts uh, lumber with a sword. She would be a great person to be in your zombie survival party, without a doubt.
She's a lesbian too, which means she probably has all kinds of practical skills. Ooh, a bat with nails in it. Let's go. The school is the misery for safe flight, one of the hardest sections. I like it so far. The school, yeah, this is the school nail bat. Looks like there's a path down this hallway. Oh, they all saw us, damn it. Oh, Kiri, thank you. I'm trying. I think that, like, I think that I've learned doing this stream and, like, being, like, a horror streamer specifically is there's a surprising amount of transferable skills between zombie games. <laughs> I do like that. You know what I really like about this game? I think it's really cool. Ooh, there's bullets over there. I'm gonna go back for this. I like that one bite and you die. Uh, like, like, as is... Because that's always been the plot of zombie stuff. But then you've always had stuff like Resident Evil where you get bit like a hundred times. It's just like fine. I'm glad I went back. There's three shotgun shells. But yeah, I think it's actually cool that this game, it's like, your health is less like your health, it's more like your, like, stamina to keep them f away from you, almost. It's cool. Oh, I should be using the bow more, it's probably silent. That's probably its whole thing. Help me open this. Alright, ready? Dead space rules for a lot of reasons. Come on. More on the way. Barricade the door. Pretty good as far as barricades go. That don't sound good. Whoa! Oh, no. New rare mail type just dropped. What? Ellie, take cover. I got this. Ellie, just stay away from it. I mean, can it even hurt her? She might be fine to be near it. Uh, we're the ones who's really in danger from this thing. Yeah, the Shrigma mail just dropped. Stop throwing your gas balls at me. Whoa! Wow! Good God! All right, let's go again. All right, I learned my lesson about you. Oh, you want to throw AOEs, eh? We can throw AOEs. Oh, it's dead. Okay. Jeez. What was up with that big guy? Whew. He's been infected for a long time. We call him bloaters. Bloater. Okay, got it. I hate to interrupt your little biology lesson, but can we get the fuck out of here, please? Get on top of these bleachers. Give me a boost, Joel. Anyway, let's patch ourselves up.
in this game, fingers in your mouth is bad. How could that be? That doesn't sound right. Medkit. Blowbird. Yeah, exactly. Bloater team. We're making the new Silent Hill. Yeah, six rounds, right? We're rolling in it now. And a new bat? Don't mind if I do. I see you guys are hanging out here at the next uh, designated advancement plot point slash loading screen. But I'm going to look around. And I'm glad I did. There's even more water drops and paper to pick up. Whoa, lots of stuff in here. See, this is what you guys miss at when you go straight to the next objective and stand there waiting for me to go there and then send me a notification telling me where to go after I don't go there. You miss out on this sweet, sweet item. I'm still pretty... I'm still pretty human. I would say I'm still pretty human. You can combine the bat with a shiv. That is, you can do that. Oh yeah, I have enough to do that, in fact. Let's do it. Cool. I ripped through my Molotovs fighting those guys. Molotovs are nasty in this. They're really strong. I mean, I guess that makes sense. They're like the easiest kind of makeshift bomb to make. Let's go, people. Alright. Go. Walter dropped paper says so you gave no it's a fun game to play with your friends. Joel behind you! Oh, they're just regular guys. Who cares? Down to the last one. Finish it off already. Man, shoot! You have a gun! Shoot at it! What's wrong with you? The berry- yes, the berry a la carte game list is always accepting, uh, donations. Uh, and entries with donations. Yeah, you can always, uh... Make a donation to see the game of your choice. I was talking earlier how these guys weren't- I did say that, that's fair. But when, that was when we were all together, because we could all melee. If it's just me- Also, he doesn't have ammo, he's not real. Joel is so good at murder. I like to imagine that he didn't actually learn how to do all this murder during the during the uh, apocalypse. He was actually already this good at murder before, and it just happens that now it's like considered like good to be good at murder. This way. I always, it's a question I always find myself asking during Zong the Apocalypse: How's Australia doing? Yeah, like little island nations. You gotta wonder, like. Like, Japan- uh, Japan would actually be toast, because there's too many people there. But, like, uh... What was the place in- Do any of you guys remember an old, uh, Flash game called, like, Pandemic? Uh, and you're trying to infect the whole world and kill them. And Madagascar has a single port, and if they shut it down, you, like, can't win. I imagine it'd be like that. Yes, Madagascar, baby! <laughs> Yeah, Katoria, yeah. The, the, the old meme that's like, uh... President, President, a man in Brazil is coughing. Shut down everything. Sarah's Hawk, the $30 tip. Long shot, but one day stream. The Legend of Heroes, Titans of S in the Sky FC. You got it. We'll put it down on the list. And I'll look up the numbers for you shortly. But in the meantime, one of the mods, go ahead and uh, make note of that for me. Thank you so much for the $30 donation, by the way. Of course! Thank you for supporting the stream. Man in Brazil's cough against Bolsonaro. I love that. Remember when the president of Brazil got COVID like three times in a year? 
inside the house now. So that worked out well. Okay, uh, I'll go check out this side of the house. Bill? Somebody had the same idea they stole my shit. Well then, what the hell is plan B? You ought to be thankful you're still drawing breath. That was plan A, B, C, all the way to fucking Z. And furthermore, tell Tess that she can take Don't this you job. Don't you bring Tess she into this. Shove it right up nothing to do with... Jesus. Can't really blame that guy. What, you know this guy or something? Frank. Who the hell's Frank? He was my partner. Oh, no. Oh, He's no. He's the only idiot that would wear a shirt like that. He's got bites here. And I reckon he didn't want to turn. So he yeah, I guess not. Well, fuck him. Look what I found. It's got some juice in it. That's my battery. That fucking asshole. Get out. Get out. Okay. Jeez. Batteries drain, but cells are alive. Meaning? Meaning, we push it, get it started, and the alternator will recharge the battery. Is that your guess? Look, you wanted a plan B. This is as good as it gets. What are you thinking? Thinking you drive and we push. Thinking you push, I slam. That's more of my stuff. God. So what? You just, just gonna steal my shit and run off? Is that it, Frank? You should probably search the house. I'm sure there's more supplies. It's a good idea. Oh, I'm full on shot. That's a bummer. Man, if I found a shotgun with eight rounds and I already had as many as I could carry in my gun, I'd be like, maybe now I have two shotguns, I guess. <laughs> like, maybe I'm a two shotgun guy now. Anyway, I'm gonna crab walk through the house, pick up items. So Bill to Oh yeah, Bill's gay. I like that. I like that they didn't beat you over the head with it or anything. Nope. For oh no. Did I find Oh god, it's dressed to Bill. Note to Bill. Well, Bill, I doubt you'll ever find this note because you're too scared to ever make it to this part of town. But if for some reason you did, I want you to know I hated your guts. I grew tired of this shitty town, of your setting your ways attitude. I wanted more from life than this and I could never get it. And that stupid battery you kept moaning about, I got it. But I guess you were right. Trying to leave this town will kill me. So I'll probably be staying another day with you. Good luck, Frank. Oh my god. Yeah, let's not show him this. Yeah, bad breakup is right. About as bad as it can go. At least we found it and he didn't. You know, like, at least Joel can just, like, crumple it up and throw it away. Take, yeah, take the CRT while we're here. <laughs> we need this. We can play Smash Brothers on it. You want to be okay with this? Yeah, not a problem. You're doing a good job. I figured you should know that. I won't let you down with this. All right. <sighs> All right, let's 
let's do it. The voice, this is, well, this is the OG voice acting, I think. It's just uh, remastered. Order in first. Already did it. Just keep your foot on the clutch. And when we get to I know how to pop a clutch. How the hell did you do what I don't care? Just don't fuck it up. All right, Ellie, get ready. Now, now, hit it. Hit it. Perfect. Hey, good job, kid. Bill, not helping. Ellie, we're going to give it another go. Stay focused. Jesus. Just keep turning right. Let's get to the hills at the end of the street. Disney Discord, thank you for the follow. Alright, time to hook off from some zombies. I hear a clicker, though. Uh, um... Where's my clicker repellent? Oh, there it is. Tess could never play this game. Yeah, for, for a number of reasons. But she doesn't have to now. That's the nice thing about her having her own channel. She could actually just play whatever she wants now. I love how many different... Like, this is just like a streamer thing. But I love how many different kinds of volume there are in this game. It's so easy to get a good mix. Uh, yeah, but I want this bat. Hold on. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Man, I need the bat. Shut up. Disney Discord, thank you for the follow. Get up. Oh, shit. No! I thought I got my stab off, but what can you do? All right. I'm constantly ending up in situations where I'm trying to not use the shotgun and then regretting it. Look, we just make it to the hill. Just get it over the edge. We're on that house. To the right. There we go. Time. Back to pushing. It makes sense now that uh, Joel is so mean now that I understand he's like a bitter old queen. I love that for him. I like him more now. There we go. Oh shit, I didn't realize... You guys just chilling over here watching, man? Go help! <laughs> just like float around three shells for emergency, the game will give you enough shells. Okay, good to know. So be, uh, don't worry too much about the ammo. I can do that. If you, in this world, if you managed to get like an aluminum bat, you'd be unstoppable. There'd be nothing they could do about you. You'd be, basically be indestructible. I knew I saw something over here. I'm coming, you guys. Oh. 
That's close. Skulls detonate aluminum bat pretty readily, actually. Ah, uh, bummer. Like, I guess like a nightstick then would probably be like your best easily findable weapon. Like a like a police officer's old nightstick. Just get a big sword. Of course, yeah. There should be a part in this where you go to the store in the mall and get a big sword. You hear that sound, Bill? Yeah. Well, that means the infected here it too. Just get the fucking truck. Dream, welcome back. We survived. Yeah, welcome back, Dream. Huh? Just keep it running, all right? Oh. That girl nearly got us killed. You gotta admit, she did hold her own back there. <laughs> you ain't gonna make it. Oh, oh. Uh. Here. What's this? You'd be amazed at how many cars still got gas in them. Appreciate it. Look, Bill, uh, about your buddy back there, uh, that's a tough deal. And I'm, uh... We square. We're square. Aw. And get the fuck out of my town. Is he gonna tell him about Tess? No. He's still too busy being hard. I know they're not close, but I, I don't think it's that weird to be like, wow, you lost someone close to you, so did I. Oh, man. Hey, what happened to sleeping? <sighs> okay. I know it doesn't look like it, but this here is not a bad read. Only one problem. Right there. To be continued. Ah. Uh, I hate cliffhangers. Where did you get that? Uh, back at Bill's. I mean, all this stuff <laughs> lying there. Say you got it somewhere else. You need to be a better liar. What else did you get? Well, here. This make you all nostalgic? You know, that is actually before my time. <laughs> that is winter, though. Oh, man. Well, better than nothing. Let's put on some royalty-free music. Oh. I'm sure your friend will be missing this tonight. Mm -hmm. Light on the reading, but it's got some interesting photos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that ain't for kids. <laughs> Whoa! Help! How the hell would he even walk around with that thing? Get rid of that. What's your horses? I want to see what all the fuss is about. Oh. Why are these all stuck together? Um. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. Bye bye, dude. Jill turns around. You know what? This isn't that bad. What you try to get some sleep? Right. I'm not even tired. Pat, that's so true. Screw it. Easy. Please. Holy shit. Are we gonna help him? 
your seatbelt on, Ellie. Absolutely not. What about the guy? He ain't even hurt. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! VCMD, welcome back. I don't know why you guys keep messing with me. You always die when you do it. Oh, you're done, man. You're done. You hurt my surrogate daughter. I'm gonna take 20 years of rage out on you. Motherfucker! What's wrong with these guys? Catch your breath. We're leaving. Watch out! Stay down! This is the PS4 remaster running on a PS5. Ouch. It always feels cool when you kill another human being. Did I get the, did I land my shot at least? Yeah, I did. Oh, I like that the car radio is still going. That's a nice touch. Hey, man. Is my Joel senses? Let's do this. Ellie got between me and my melee attack again. Ah, all right, that's fine. Welcome back, Edge Lord. Right, that's fine. We can do this better this time anyway. They're coming that way. Fuck these guys. Who taught you that kind of language? the need to be quiet there while I did my stuff. <laughs> uh, for me, please. Thank you. There we go. Yeah, this is stealth Molotov, truly. 
I guess it makes it because it's like a Molotov doesn't make a sound when you throw it. So it doesn't mean you necessarily know where they are, even if you know they have them. If you didn't see the throw happen. Where is he at? Oh, he's back there. I see him now. God, it feels so good to kill another human being. Allegedly. Alright. I think that's the last of them. You okay? Yeah, I guess so. Good. We need to get the hell out of here. You know the drill. Look around, see if there's anything we can use. Roger that. Yeah, he did say the thing. Merc Sapient with the $10 donation. Thank you so much. We are a user-supported stream, so your guys' donations go a long way. Thank you so much. Barry and Joel, but now my lawyer says that I, I should clarify that I'm not good at murder. I actually am really bad at murder. I'm so bad at it that I've definitely never committed it. Yeah, more like weird rags and stuff. But you know I love that kind of thing. There's gotta be a better way out than this. Judge of Barry's murder trial. You can't argue with that lot. Exactly. Oh! Yeah, internet bill's gotta get paid VCM day. Precisely. You understand. They should let me, like, drink all the gas left in the car so that I can run faster or something. Ooh, stand up, stretch my legs. That's good. How to get a good stretch in. <laughs> wow, what a, what a smooth slide you have there, Joel. I I like I like Joel's wave dash I just did. So Joel slides into your DMs. Man, don't tease me. Yeah, we sure as hell ain't going back this way. Oh, I have a, a show stuffed animal. I will bring a stuffed animal into frame to hang out with us while we stream.
right, let's get at it. There we go. Oh, Clockwork Tyranny, hello, welcome. He's right, yeah, in his natural survival pouch like a kangaroo. You know, it, it's so funny that you have this, like, all these abandoned cars anywhere, and nobody's eating these delicious leather interiors. Joe has a primordial pouch. Ah, yes, of course. I mean, food's a, a big enough issue that they use ration cards as their money. You know, I, honestly, as, as much as I made fun of it the first time, I actually kind of like that mechanic. It's nice to, like, not have to get stuck finding the next waypoint. Especially because this game doesn't really have, like, a... Objective marker or whatever. Jason Man with the tier with the tier okay. one three month resub. Here's to three months in your emotional support, myself. Kirby. Thank you so much. Um, there's some pretty gnarly stuff in here. Ellie. Right. <laughs> okay, go. <laughs> There's some pretty gnarly stuff in here. We get in here, there's like a there's like a skateboard vert ramp. <laughs> this is pretty gnarly. Ah, the classic Joel slide. Days exploring over at waypoints over the days of running around trying to find the one door to the deck. You know, I like I like the balance that we we're striking recently where it's like I don't know, Elden Ring had what you could set waypoints, but also you could just explore, and I felt like it struck good balance. I liked that. This is just like a, a list of supplies. Nothing you'd expect. Nothing too weird. Alright. They said everyone's too busy chasing down that crazy chick is the one relevant part. We don't know who that crazy chick is yet, but I guess we'll find out. Oh, wow, there's like, uh, um, a dead guy. And like, another dead guy. Ah, it's the magic powder from Zelda Link's Awakening. Smoke bomb. Oxidized sugar creates a smoke screen that will hide you from your enemies. They ignite with a concussive burst, stunning any enemy caught in the explosion radius. Enemies can't see through the smoke and won't shoot at a target they can't see. Use this to escape when overwhelmed or rushing while enemies are stunned. Okay. Yeah, we have two tools now. This has definitely got a bit of a serial killer den vibe to it, that's for sure. Joel, what are you doing? <laughs> that that must be a loading screen because he just stood there. Like like my controls stopped working after I hit the button for like a couple seconds there. That must have been a loading screen. How did you know? They should have had him squeeze through a crack. About the ambush. I've been on both sides. <laughs> we'll take that as a yes. Take it however you want. What were the devs implying when Link's heart turned him into a pink buddy and Link to the past? That's a good question. That does happen. You find out Link's persona and Link to the past. And he's a pink bunny. This is where the assholes sleep. I mean, slept. Let's reload. Reload. Do I have... What kind of crafting supplies I got? 
Oh, I could make a med kit. I, I like to have a med kit if I can. I like to have a shiv if I can. I'd like to have a nail bomb if I can. I'd like to have a smoke bomb if I can. It's a Donnie Darko reference. <laughs> of course. Yeah, exactly. Sometimes you're just a pink bunny. That's the way it is. Health kits up. Woo! Health kits are now 33% stronger. Let's go. Oh, I don't have enough for the shotgun range upgrade yet. Which seems pretty nasty, honestly. Clip capacity. Oh, I can put the hunt. I could. Wait. It's a bolt action rifle. How can I get. There's no clip. How do I what the hell does that work? I'll do it once so I can see how it works. If you are a pink bunny, hit me up. <laughs> so I got uh, the link. Yeah. Do you remember when they announced uh, the Twilight Princess part where you turn into a wolf at E3 and everybody started booing? That was very funny. Survivalist guy who knows nothing about wilderness survival. We don't matter. Let's just keep moving. <laughs> Survivalist guy who knows nothing about wilderness survival, and so his bug out bag is composed entirely of items he sold Joel Carey and Last of Us. He's just walking around with like cans with scissors sticking out of them. Cause of death? Oh, he fell on his bag of scissors. And he gave me got tetanus from it. All right. Here's the bridge. That's our way out of here. Hey, Ellie, slow down. Wait for me. Uh, what? Right here. How about you let me go first and keep your voice down? Okay. <laughs> God, I love her so much. They they've really captured the like the excellent uh, dynamic that is watching a grown man get clowned on by a teen. One of the all-time funniest dynamics possible in humankind. The, yeah, when they revealed Link's anime eyes in Wind Waker, everyone got mad, despite the fact that Wind Waker is one of the oh, best-looking games of all time. Oh, good. Something else you can drive. The subtitles didn't match there, huh? Man, I only need 10 more pills. There's a spring in the box under the bolt. Usually hold- Oh, okay! So, like, when you're not- You don't have to put the round in. It's like, it, it pushes up spring-loaded out of the box whenever you- Okay. I get to- See, I, I like that I get to learn stuff on the stream. It's fun for me. I have seen those boxes in, like, old World War II video games and stuff. I think I know what you mean. Termination shock. What is this? Savage Starlight. Oh, can you, like, read the whole comic book? Oh, yeah, you can just look at the cover. Alright. Well, maybe I'll give it to the kid later. She likes to read comics or whatever. 
happened here? You were mad about Wind Waker? Wind Waker, I, I, I was probably mad about Wind Waker, but I was also a child, and it was like of an era where everything cool meant it had to be edgy, and Wind Waker was really bucking that trend in a way that has made it age really well, but when I first saw it, I was like, this looks stupid. And, I did, and then I played it, though, and I was like, actually, this game rolls. It was a weird era for games where having an art style wasn't appreciated. Yeah, no kidding. If your art style wasn't, like, grimdark, people didn't want it. What was that? Oh no. Ellie, get down. Where did you learn to shoot? Man, screw you. You had an entire flock. <laughs> you hit nothing. I'm about to hit you. Wow. Yeah, you're really upset. Well, if you want some lessons, you know, I'm more than willing to help you out. Yeah, whatever. Hmm. Where the hell are those guys? They're supposed to be here. Yeah, they're on the highway shift. Wouldn't be surprised if they caught another batch of tourists. Spots of gold on our lucky bastard. See if there's anything you can forage while we wait for. Ain't nothing here. Keep going. Oh, you're gonna ask me to keep going. Okay, well, I mean, that'd be best for you. Because otherwise I'm going to end your life. Be quiet, kiddo. We got work to do. By work, I mean it's murder time. All right, fan out. You're not getting out of here. That's where you're wrong. What you got? Nothing. What about you? Nothing here either. Keep looking. All right. You should want to. Oh shit! Oh shit! Ah! Behind you! Oh. There we go. See, that wasn't so bad. We got this. Yeah, they got Poyo, that's right. There's a... How's a mag fed uh, revolver work? Is it the whole point of a revolver has a chamber instead of a mag? Ellie throws the glass, you wedge it into the guy's skull with a bat. Yeah, no kidding. See, she's already learning to do murders with her dad. It reminds me of when I learned to do murders with my dad. It's cute. Any items worth looting around here before we move on? Just bricks, eh? Hey, we can climb the bus right here. Yeah, every father dreams of their daughter turning to murder. I remember when my dad first taught me how to do a stealth kill. That bridge looks pretty far. We'll get there. Whoa. It's strange seeing a checkpoint with no soldiers. Well, this is what most zones look like. This place has been abandoned for a while now. It looks like, uh, papers, please. 
Ooh, something back here? Give us our rations. <laughs> Cut off their limbs. Lost Hill now. We lost Troy Hill to the most ragtag pieces of maggot shit to ever carry a gun. Bastards are cunning, though. They stole one of our mortar launchers, and we didn't stand a chance. With this in the strip district in their pocket, they now control the whole river. Made for a difficult retreat. There's barely half our squad left. I just pray to God that Jeremy and Pam are still alive. They got stranded on the other side of the river. Why wouldn't they give them their food? Sometimes they ran out. Most times they just held on to it. That never happened in Boston. Trust me, it happened all the time. Yeah, is it don't dead to open inside. Yeah, they're they're calling it environmental storytelling. Are your kids at risk? My daughter Ellie seemed like such a nice girl, and then the environmental storytelling told her to cut off their limbs. Keep it down while we're going to this area, okay? I've never seen anyone with so much fucking energy. It took a couple minutes to snuff everyone else. It took fucking five hours to bring her ass down. Damn. Sometimes you gotta earn your keep, right? Yeah, I guess. We're about to give up, and she started shooting at us. It's stupid. She could have got away. I had two other guys keep her busy. I took out my rifle, lined up a little head in the crosshairs, and pow. That was that. Sounds familiar. Well, maybe. Holy shit! Get him! Use my Joel vision. Somebody clip that, by the way, <laughs> for me. <laughs> But yeah, exactly. That's how I felt. Like, it was like I uh, I wanted to kill them because oh my god, these guys sound awful. Where's the second guy? I lost track of one of them. Oh, there they both are. Okay. Whoa! Knock him out. Oh, he's got a shotgun. Whew. Thought he didn't get that get that head off. Yeah! That's right, girly! That's my right, girl! Yeah, if these guys wanted to be safe, they should peek around the corner with their third-person camera instead of the pop of their heads out. Alright, use our smell-o-vision. There's one over there. There we go. There we go. Thanks for turning it around for me, baby. I love my daughter. She helps me in combat. Like a daughter should. There's a lot of guys here. Wow, okay. We're gonna like... We're really going like Punisher mode here. I, I, I thought we were gonna fight like three guys. Oh, 
Ah, I love to take good care of my daughter. I'm a good person. I love her very much. I'm going to see her grow up big and strong. All right, where are you? I can smell your blood! Oh, oh, that wasn't so bad, baby, was it? <laughs> it's just me committing more murders, baby. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. This won't have any impact on your psyche, on your developing brain. I'm sure nothing will go wrong about having a father figure who is like a, a unrepentant murderer. It's the game, that's right. There are so many guys here. This is turning into Hotline Miami. Right, back up. There we go. Alright, sniff around. There's a guy up there. He looks like he's got like a real gun, a gun gun of some sort. Time to crab walk around looking for items until you guys come downstairs, because I'm not going to walk up those stairs into an ambush. You guys can come to me. You guys got any food? Ah, there we go. See, there's. I knew there would be treats here for us. Put another round in there. All right, everything else is reloaded. Ooh, anything in the locker? Yes, more bits. Thanks for the bits. Oh, I'm hearing you still had because you're in the floor above me. Okay, well. You guys can be on the floor above me, that's fine. I'm not up there yet. That's right, Nightbot. Uh, Tess has m moved onward and upwards to her own channel. If you've enjoyed Tess's streams, as I know so many people have, consider following her on her new account, which is linked in the chat right now by Nightbot. More paper, applicant checklist. I feel like I don't really have time to check stuff right now like that. But soon. I'm gonna go check out where I we killed those guys initially. Those guys, like, they're, they're clearly not gonna come down the stairs. I'm just like, okay. I'll just go out here and look for items real quick. If you guys aren't gonna pressure me. This is where I did some of my more recent murders. Any items, any treats or goodies for me, perhaps? Oh, 
another way upstairs, even. Use my smell of vision. All right. Another way upstairs sounds really nice. Considering that they're crawling all over that place. It's around here somewhere. There they are. There are three guys, four guys up here. Okay, it's not too bad. Hey, man. Their punches come out so fast, I cannot get a jump on them punching. They always get like one punch on me. Anyway. Yeah, take a look. It's in a book. All right, can I smell him? There's one guy to smell there. Oh, why can't I smell the other guy? Did he run off or something? All right, go. Ah! Don't shoot at me, I'm scared. There we go. Yeah, I told you to get punched to activate Berserker Rage. That's exactly what it is. All right. See, there we go. That wasn't so bad, was it? For, like, anybody besides me. I Did I? Ooh, man. Wow, that, like, really... Ugh. Ugh. Well. Ugh. Mm, ugh. Well. Can't make it on without breaking a few eggs, right? Oh, there he is. One more guy to smell. Hi. There we go. That was too damn close. Close. The edge of the universe and back. Endurance. That wasn't close. We Excuse ran me. train on those guys. Savage Starlight. That comic I've been reading. That's what the hero says after a big battle. <laughs> Endurance survive. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Tape. Gunpowder or something. Maybe that was just sugar. Well, sometimes you do some murders with your daughter, and it's fine. It's it's not illegal, Man. and it's not frowned upon socially. All these books. I wish I had more room in my backpack. Oh, so you're a reader, huh? Well, when I'm not running away from hunters and infected. Yeah, I read all the time. <laughs> Cute. They have a fun dynamic. Yeah, I'm sure that none of uh, Ellie's future outlooks and behaviors will be affected by having like a surrogate dad who was an unrepentant murderer. Ellie's gonna end up with be t as the first person who has like life threatening daddy issues. Alright. The first person to ever have have terminal malignant daddy issues. Man. You gotta be crazy to string up soldiers. Whoa. If you get people desperate enough, they'll do just about anything. And the people that rose up. They're the ones we've been fighting here? That'd be my bet. I thought, th at, at distance, I thought this was a combine, like Half Life 2. Oh, you're right, the bow. I should be testing the bow out. I am go probably going to stream a second game right after this one, honestly. People really like to see this game, so I'm like, well, maybe I'll just do both.
She, surely she sees him as less of a father figure and more of a mobo, a murder hobo for hire. I don't know. I feel like they're setting us up for a, a clear, like, we, we are filling the void in each other's lives that come with the loss of our families thing. Oh yeah, Ellie's totally emotionally healthy and makes good choices. Exactly. I'm sure Last of Us 2, oh, it will be all about how everything works out fine. <sighs> Hell yeah. <sighs> yeah, everyone's gonna be fine. It's like, I'm sure the world will actually just go back to normal. They open a bakery. Oh, I love that for them. Hurry up with that plank. Down, 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 down. Get out of here. There's more of them. I like that they also drag around planks to do stuff just like we do. It would be like if you came up on somebody in All a video right. game and they were doing a box pushing I puzzle. Think they saw us. <sighs> There's our bridge. We're a little closer. Think. Let's keep at it. Come on. This is the progenitor of dad games. I mean, I guess you could argue Silent Hill 1 might be the progenitor of dad games. But you don't have your kid with you that whole time in that one. That girl is so skinny. She probably hadn't been eating good. <laughs> She's frosting the cakes carefully. He's beating the, the hell out of the bread dough with a baseball bat. Oh, yeah, Yoshi's Mario's dad. I forgot about that one. That's true. That's canon. I can't make that jump. We have to make a jump? Is it that deep? Ah, it is actually pretty deep. Well, time to go find a pallet for you to ride on top of. Wait here. Hmm. Now we're inside. There's that. Yeah, we do we do a little Half-Life 2 puzzling in this from time to time, for sure. This game still has a bit of that, that PS3 puzzle uh, energy in it, for sure. Like, I get that this game was very advanced for its time, but you can still get little, little delicious tastes, little morsels of the PS3 in it. And one such example is when you have to go find a pallet so that you can put Ellie on top of it and slide her across the top of the water so she can get up on something because she can't swim canonically. What's blue-green algae toxicity? I should probably know this before the apocalypse actually happens in real life. This is really a fact-finding mission to learn more about things to survive the real apocalypse. The game is just an excuse. It's mostly to have you guys come in and tell me facts I should know. Ooh, a shiv. Stash note. It goes down tonight. We're going to take the eastern checkpoint. I stashed some extra supplies at Regal Apartments. It's marked with a red X. Okay. Regal Apartments. Keep your eyes out for that. Part when Baby Mario's being carried away in a bubble and Yoshi snapped the toadie's neck. Yeah! You remember the part where you, you, you encounter Magic Koopa in Yoshi's Island and you get up behind him and you cut his throat with a shiv? Yeah, it's a classic. It's a classic for a reason. Cyanobacter uh, cyanobacteria blooms cause, uh, usually caused by fertilizer getting in the water. It occasionally kills dogs and toddlers that swim in affected beaches. Ah, I say. Hey, there's one of those 
shooting grass things again. Can we use it? Ooh, Fall Flora with the raid. Welcome, everyone. We're playing The Last of Us. I'm Bloodberry Tart. You're Elvira from Modern and Retro Horror Gaming. Thank you so much for the raid, Fall. Let's go this way. There's the thing we need. There's our quest item. I mean, after the amount of guys we just fought, yeah, it doesn't look promising. Or anyway, all right, daughter, we're here to do the puzzle. What's that all about? Get on. We'll come to the hotel. Come on, kid. <laughs> It would go crazy if they put zombies in the water. That would be pretty gnarly. Yeah, it's the pallet's engine that you're hearing there. Set up that plank like they did. Oh, you're gonna do it over there, huh? All right. Now you just need to find a way up. Yes, honey. They could make a, I feel like they could make like a, a, a water zombie based off some kind of water fungus. That would be cool. They could call them like floaters or something. Oh, this place stinks. Yeah, words all rotten. Did you go to coffee shops a lot? I did. <laughs> yeah, she's setting up puzzles oh, for Joe, yeah. Joe, uh, and Joel's enrichment. Just, just coffee. Do you think those hunters are gone? We're about to find out. <laughs> I feel bad for Bill. I feel bad that we threw away his gay porno magazine. Considering he probably needs it more than ever. It's clear, Ellie. Come on down. Do you ever go to a place like this? Uh, before it all went to shit, I mean. Joel's, Joel's answer to what kind of coffee question makes you think no. he's a secret fancy coffee. No, yeah, he gets he gets his coffee at Whole Foods, but he's embarrassed about it. It's too high. Let's we'll see what we can find. Oh, I'm full up on shivs? Wow, time to make some more. drink this yeah dessert he maybe he's like a maybe he's like a like a like a frilly sweet coffee guy he's like he's like a starbucks sweet coffee guy and he's embarrassed about it because otherwise he's so masked and uh you know manly and whatnot oh i'll be checking in for one note and i would like your finest sweet tea what the hell are you doing Yes, you can take my luggage upstairs. You are a weird kid. She is great. I love her. Yeah, exactly. He hasn't been able to get a white chocolate mocha in like 10 years because Starbucks survived 10 years in the apocalypse, but eventually they were get folded into the U.S. military to make bombs. Yeah, exactly. She's playing pretend. Like, have some fun. Do your fun little make pretend role play with your daughter before one of you dies, man. 
You missed the opportunity the first time. And Joel's never heard of a bit before in his life. Hey, there's a ladder back here. Oh, I really miss coffee. All right. Yeah, but I want to have some coffee. <laughs> you cannot. That is evil. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying that if, if life gives you a replacement daughter after the first one breaks, you should at least have the decency to not be too embarrassed to not play pretend with her. Explaining to her how caramel white chocolate half-calf with oat milk is actually the way manlier option. Yeah, Joel's like, uh, yeah, before the, uh, before the whole, the whole zombie thing, this is actually was the, was the manly thing to have. No, for really. I guess that's not the spot. All right. Geographically, where are we? That's a good question. Yeah, where does this take place again? Are we still in Texas like we were in the beginning of the game? Captain Oblivion! Hello. Welcome. Pittsburgh. Ah, that explains why it's like this. This place actually isn't all messed up at all. It's just this is just what it's like there. There we go. I'm on it. Ooh, what's that over there? I will go get that. Okay. Sorry, kid. I tricked you. Well, bye. There we go. Ah, ten loots, please. We're in Pittsburgh, Texas? Ah, of course. The most famous Pittsburgh. By all accounts. I wish more zombie apocalypse is okay with characters having knowledge of zombie media beforehand. Just let them call it zombies. Yeah, it's fair. Watch your step. They should make it like, uh, I don't know, like maybe like people know about zombie media, but it's considered like uncouth to call them that. Like it's like it's rude. Seen a clicker in weeks. Because we're thorough, we're gonna keep being thorough. Let's wrap this up, right? All right, whatever. He's right. When he's right, he's right, man. Ah, oh, shit! Damn it! He left the room. There we go. All right, smell for them. There he's over there. Yeah, the intro. Oh yeah, it was set in Boston. I thought it was set in Austin. I thought someone said it was set in Austin. 
He starts in Austin with his daughter, and the time skip he's in Boston where he meets Ellie. Okay, gotcha. Austin, Boston. Where do they come up with the names for this stuff? I can't go into that corner, man? That sucks. Shh, go to sleep. Yeah, get a Costin next, exactly. In Dawson. Go. Grab that and that. Where are they? Where are they? It's one of the weirdest things, at least for me as like a streamer, uh, is I have a really hard time doing a stealth portion and talking to the chat at the same time. Because I guess like a lizard part of my brain feels like it'll make me more easy to detect. Let's see. It's so funny that he has like a like a short bow. Video games love to have like a short bow. Most most modern bows are not. Yeah, what the hell was that? They're compound bows normally. I'll check out this area. You get those. I'll stream thief and not talk the whole stream. This is like the stealthiest game I've streamed, I think. That's fine. That's fine way to do it too. Oof. Ouch. Give me the pipe. Alright, smell for them. There we go. Two more coming. That's fine. Let them come. Yeah, I'm gonna give him the bonk. <laughs> Strangle. No talking. I saw you. You're going to talk and make me feel bad for the murders I'm doing. I'm not gonna let that happen. These guys roll deep, good god. Well, too bad about this whole head and body and whatnot. He was gonna tell me about his daughter? Yeah, I'm sure he was. That's why I didn't listen. I was like, I'm not falling for this. There's this thing that happens when you're someone who does murders where like you go to murder somebody, right? And you've already picked out a victim and you've just like stalked out like their daily life and you know where they go and stuff. And then you 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 go to do it and then they act like they're like a fully realized person with hopes and dreams and a family like you. And it's funny because it's like, no, of course you're not. It's like, I know that you're, you, God puts you on the earth for me to kill you. And that's why the only reason you're here and you don't have any internals, you're like a robot, you know? And so it's always like, kind of funny. At least I always thought it was like, a, you know. Let's see. I get why it would be easier to make it a wood. Yeah, everyone makes them, but like um, a compound bow is like what every real bow that is used these days is, or at least vast majority of them. 
<laughs> Shiver runs on the spine of my lawyer. Yeah, totally. Noah's like, is it cold in here? Is it cold in here? So I was gonna wait and take people uh, until people take out a photo of their family. Then while they're distracted, to club them in the neck. That's right. Natu, somebody gets me. Thank you. Thank you. Or like, I, I, one that worked well for me is when somebody is like, I have a family. When you say family, your mouth has to open up pretty wide and you can get your knife right in there. All right. There's more guys somewhere, but I've, I've completely lost track of them. Is all modern recurve. Recurve bows are still common in the modern days. So people prefer them because they're easy to service slash repair. I guess that's fair. I I am personally, you know, I, I, I personally think that recurve cells are seething over compound chads. But I understand why some people might like that or whatever. I like I like when I'm stalking around and I hear, yeah, I hung out with my infant daughter and pregnant wife 20 minutes before standing here in a dank dark hallway and I pull up my shoddy and murder them. I, yeah, same. It's fun to see the things that the AI comes up with to make them seem like real people. Shot bear. What's bear bow? I'm not sure what that is. When someone tells you a family, I think bonus round. I love that because Crovot Rock's always in the Discord like, going to go have a nice time with my son. I took I took him to a, ch a birthday party for a classmate. <laughs> and then in the chat, Crovot Rock is like, inventing a new kind of family murder. I guess we've mostly cleared them out. Use the stairwell to leave. All right, well, which means I check this way to look for free items, treats, and goodies. There's gotta be goodies around here. Not make connections here. I just thought it was funny. I thought it was cute. These are those arrows the Navi used to pierce cockpit glass. <laughs> I'm using the arrows that you can use to p to pierce cockpit glass, but I'm shooting it through the uh, bulletproof glass at the liquor store so that I can grapple and then steal a six pack of Coors Light. I'm pulling it back through like a harpoon gun. You know how feral I would be in the, if in the apocalypse I found an unopened, unmelted Reese's Pieces bag? No, you know, Reese's cup might act like... You know what would actually be probably the thing that uh, in the post-apocalypse after 20 years of society collapsing that people might kill for? If you found a warehouse full of those like Reese's cup trees that come out around Christmas... Or the Reese's Cup pumpkins that come out around Halloween. Reese's Pieces. That's how you say it. Right? Games are all too afraid to have compound. You know what game actually ha the only game I can think of that has a compound bow, strangely enough, is Elden Ring. Fuck. Uh. 
Oh good, he didn't see me. Holy shit! <laughs> me standing in the middle of a room. Uh, hold the swap. Yeah, there we go. Fuck me! Oh, son of a nice try. Oh yeah, you two are gonna do this. You guys are totally gonna pull this off. Yeah, no, this is it, man. Just, just go for it. How could you possibly not win? It's not like I'm an unstoppable juggernaut of pain sent from God to punish you. Whoa! Or never mind. Or you do just own me. Wow! 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 Jeez, that was embarrassing. Yeah, turn your back. Strangle him. Very good. You got to sleep forever. Jeez. Yeah, LA. I mean, you're witnessing a lot of murders here. I thought I I tried to shoot him by releasing the bow the way you like release a bow to fire it in real life. That is not the way you fire a bow in this game. I learned my lesson. Oh, there's still one more. Oh shit! Somebody's over here! Where did you come from, man? I came from that way! Yes! Ah, you're too late! There we go. Thank you for clipping that. That was a good one. Nobody, nobody say that I got owned, please. I didn't. And I also wasn't mad. That felt pretty cool. It's like playing Breath of the Wild. You're gonna burn, asshole. Yay! Yay! Burn, asshole. Oh, no, I didn't kill him. Alright, well. Throw punch. Yeah, this game is the Breath of the Wild of video games. That's so true. This game is the Dark Souls of games where you have a daughter who dies and then 20 years later you have a second daughter who forms a surrogate, like, sort of surrogate daughter relationship with you and fills a void in your life. Anyone 
Nelson here. Hello? 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 Like and subscribe. Hello? Diffy Babes, survey bits with 100 bits. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. It's your guys' support that keeps the stream running. Thank you so, so much. Paper? Yeah, your, your hotel wall is professionally painted red by Joel. There's so many empty beer bottles everywhere. Nope, nobody in here. All right, time to crab walk around grabbing items. Ooh, do I have enough pills yet? Yes! Reduce weapon sway. Boom. Oh, that's already way better. Cool. Awesome. Awesome. Guess Whoa! Easy way out. Not awesome! It ain't easy. For many, it was better than letting a clicker or a hunter do it for him. Trust me. It ain't easy. Hydrate. Yeah, thanks for the raid, hit that follow button. I trust me, I died in a bathtub too. Yeah, exactly. New tunes with the raid! Thank you so much! Hello everyone, I'm Bloodberry Tart. I'm your Elvira from Byron Retro Horror Gaming, and I'm so excited to have you guys here. Noob troop! Noob troop! Let's go! Hello, everyone! Where are you playing over there? We're playing The Last of Us Part 1 on account of the show coming out and stuff. One one with the follow! Thank you so much! Chris the Hater, you've come to the right place. Welcome another hater into the fold. Finish Dark Souls 3? Hell yeah! Oh, God, Dark Souls 3 is such a banger. What kind of build? What did you do? Man, too many bricks and not enough half of a pair of scissors. Yeah, including the DL the DLC to D Dark Souls 3 is so brutal. God, the Ring City. The Ring City is like an air- they finally were like, you know what, fuck you guys. <laughs> Here you go, I got something for you. Donalo! And Adina Saad. Thank you so much for the follow. Sorry. Adina's a day. That's it. It's closer, at least. <laughs> Thank you both so much for the falls. Welcome aboard. Quality. Hell yeah. Quality is, is really good in uh, DS3. It's, DS3, like, I feel like it matters more to not split your damage types than any of the other Souls games. And it just seems like the obvious best choice. I guess maybe it's because spells are just weaker in DS3 than they are in DS1, 2, or Elden Ring. I could squeeze through there, but... First I must grab a bunch of items and stuff them into my pockets. I like- I really do like how you like shimmy around the rooms picking up items all the time. I hope he does that in the show, too. Let's see where this goes. Just in case. Woo! Uh, uh, 
Okay, thank God. I was like, if this thing falls, we just die, right? Hmm. That's fine. We're fine. Do I go this way? No. Ah, open the panel. No? Not the panel? Next episode of the TV show is going to be 80 minutes of looting five rooms, of crafting a bunch of stuff, and then waffling over which upgrades to buy. Yeah, exactly. That would be the accurate version of it. The accurate version would have the first clicker that Joel sees kills him, and he's like, ah, oh, shit, shit, let me try over. Oh, there we go. That's the way we go. You find me something to climb on. Okay, here we go. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm all right. Are you okay? No. Scared the shit out of me. No. No, no, it's fine. Stay out there. Yeah, stay up. I'll make my way up to you. Don't do anything stupid! I'll try. Alright. Where to now? Is Pedro Pascal the voice actor for, uh... For Joel in this? Or is he in the show? Whoa. Oh, we're not going that way! Oh, he's in both, whoa! Good for him. Oh, it's Troy Baker. Okay, Peter Pestel's guy in the show. Gotcha. We are, uh... About eight and a half hours into it, Demos. I think I've tried it for the this is my day. first time, though, so I'm probably going slower than somebody who's more experienced with it. Ooh, I'm full up, eh? I guess time to. Oh, I can't. Wait, can I not craft stuff here on account of there's water? That's annoying. I am on whatever, like, probably normal, I think. So, like I said, it was my first time, so I didn't want to, uh. I didn't want to rake myself over the coals without knowing how hard the base game was. Yes, you do most, you understand. Alright. We're going down. Thank God our flashlight is waterproof. And also our bow. And also, you know, our guns. Pretty much the only thing that's not waterproof is our daughter. Blue Rose Moon, thank you for the follow. Are guns? Are guns waterproof? I just felt like maybe water getting into the mechanism would be really bad for it, but I could be wrong. Demos G with the follow. Thank you so, so much. We love to see new faces around here. They're surprisingly water resistant. Ah, okay. Guns are waterproof, you would have to clean them later. Okay, yeah, so it would make the gun stop working temporarily at least, which is what I was thinking.
Nothing in there. Demon spores. Oh, clean grease to prevent rusting. Oh, okay. Yeah, bullets. I actually know. I know that bullets can get water and not get messed up. You know how I know this? In the original uh, Alone in the Dark on the MS DOS, there are two kinds of ammo: revolver bullets, oh, shit. and uh, like old timey paper rifle rounds. And if you get in water, your old timey paper rifle rounds get destroyed, but your revolver bullets do not. One of those. Take two, why not? Live a little. I don't have a melee weapon right now. Yeah, I did just make a med kit knee deep in contaminated water. So, wh so what? I just used the med kit to cure it. Who cares if I get sick, right? The med kit just cures anything that any sickness I get. Simple as. So it seems. Do I understand correctly that the. Uh, oh, wait. Do I understand correctly? It seems to be the way that uh, these things work is like you become a chart. a runner, and then you become a clicker, and then you become a bloater, or are they separate creatures? Yeah, like it's a progression of the disease. Okay, that's what I thought. I wasn't sure if it was like they specialized or if it was a progression. This is a very satisfying little uh, visual UI effect. God damn it. That looks like that might be a bloater. I'm going to just leave. Yeah, it is! Alright. Well, when shit sucks, you hit the bricks. Oh, no. Oh, no! Oh, no! No, 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 no! I can't Molotov his ass for in standing water! Oh, now I can. Oh, I died. Ah, He got me. That is a big boy. Now I know he's there, though. You know, I'm gonna go upstairs first. And clear out some of these guys, and then I'll rip it. I tried to hit the bricks. Believe me, I tried. It wasn't for lack of wanting to hit the bricks. I play- I play- this is an all-horror game channel. As, aside from an occasional user-funded game, which is all-horror all the time, both retro and modern. Veronica Rose 96 with the 17-month resub. This channel is great. Thank you so much! Yeah, so what we do here essentially is like, I'm very influenced by like, 
Elvira, you know, like Elvira in like the 80s and 90s would do like, you know, collect movies, including like strange and obscure ones and sort of curate them for an audience and be a hostess for them. That's kind of how I approach this here. It's a collaboration between me and the producer where in addition to playing all the cool modern horror games, we dive back into the history of games and find weird, old, or obscure games and do the science and technology that you need to do to make those work now and do those on stream as well. It's a lot of fun, it's a lot of work, but I really love it. Snoot Snoot Hee Hee, thank you for the follow. Aw, Cookus, thank you. I love you guys, too. We do have a tech wizard. Yeah, we have a tech priest. That helps. Blood Samurai. Card. It's okay, so there's gonna that's why we need to turn the power on at some point. We're gonna need to open a key card door. That'll be very similar to a virus she dates women. Oh you know, I play the field. I like boys, I like girls. It's you know 2023. I don't see a reason to lock myself down. Where is this door? Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, okay. Go this way. Laundry room or boiler room? Elvira's GF is the luckiest of- Yeah, no kidding. Cassandra Peterson is still gorgeous. Power's not on, eh? Yeah, I gotta go turn the generator on. Unfortunately, that seems to summon all the enemies, and there doesn't seem to be like any now, which I could means I couldn't thin them out ahead of time. Ah, <sighs> ain't that just the way? She got the bag. Yeah, no kidding, right? It was her personal trainer. People love to date their personal trainers. We should, you know, she's figured. that happens to me. Alright, let's try this again. God damn it. The yeah, the first time I have it, I was really caught off guard. Oh my god, fuck you! The game respawned me without the key card! Even though I got the key card before this!
That's some bullshit. All right, whatever. I wouldn't have died there if, if it didn't. All right, whatever. Thomas Maroon, hello. Oh, Thomas Maroon can't hear me. He can't have audio on. I could say all kinds of stuff about Thomas Maroon. Wouldn't even know. Now we're not mad here. All right, key card. Now we got it. Now we've gotten this part locked down. Let's go. And let's just dip now. God damn it. Wrong gun. Move. Oh, crap. There's more than one bloater. All right. Move! Let's go, let's go, let's go. You're taking your mask off, man? We gotta find Ellie. Man, I don't I wouldn't trust that door to hold so much that I would take my mask off. Yeah, any bloaters in chat? Joel calls it a muzzle. Well, Joel should leave his muzzle on just in case there's stuff to breathe in in here. You're indoors. If there's not monster mold, there could be regular black mold. This is a safe space for you, Banana Gogo. -Go. Knives, knives, knives. Oh, I can make stuff now. We're actually, like, really stocked on stuff. I should start expending some resources, I guess. Yeah, exactly. The air looks fine, so why would you need a mask? Joel. Ah, more pills. Thankful. Thank God. For those of you who just tuned in, the way pills work is that you can- t you take pills to get various upgrades. That's it. It's the end of it. You choose the upgrades too, so any pills are good to get you any upgrades, as long as you take enough pills. Here's the draw speed and range on this thing. Like, more clip capacity on the shotgun. Joel needs to show everyone he's not controlled by his fear. He really does, though. Missing dog. Ivy the husky disappeared from backyard. Boarding house for rent. Send hope to hurricane victims. Often mountain trekking invitation. Come and join us. Sounds like a postal mechanic. Yeah, right? Guts Abyss Walker, Souls fan, eh? I just got uh, volumes 5 through 7 of Berserk to add to my 1 through 4. I got 
got it! Not today. You? <laughs> there we go. Read it in high school. Taught me. I mean, it's great. It's a great. Pe I, uh, it's a great manga. It's a legend for a reason. I like the decision they made to finish the series based on uh, Mira's work, like Mira's works and writings before he passed. I think that's the. Uh, I don't. I don't. Right call is it really? You know, it's not really a right or wrong, but I'm glad they chose to make that decision. I'm excited to see how it ends. And it's also, like, you figure it's still his work, and also, like, everyone who's working on that, like, they were working on it before he died, too, you know? It's, like, mangakas have people who ink and draw and stuff for them. So it's, like, everybody else who worked on it but him, based off of his, uh, his writings and work, you know, it's pretty much... That wasn't a gun, it was a bow. Ah, oh, man, this is gonna get messy. Alright, patch me up. Patch me up. Patch me up outside. I must get patched up. Patch me up outside. I don't think so. You're not getting the flank on me. We can shoot at each other across the kitchen like gentlemen. But if you try to flank me, that's it. <laughs> Oblivion, good god. His best friend was on board. I, I, It seemed like all the people around him were on board, and I thought that was really good. I could see how, like, if you... Because it was his life work, you know? And I could see how... If you spent your life working on something like that, and to pass so tragically soon, like, uh... Muro did. I think it's great that they're finishing his work. I think that's awesome. What more can you ask for as a creator than, like, every one of your collaborators doing their best to follow your vision... Where the Make sure it happens. It's just kind of beautiful, you know? Yeah, they love the guy and want to see it done right. I think that's cute. I think it's nice. I think it's all pe yeah, that guy's lip- Yeah, people like explode in this game. It's crazy. I wonder what kind of dad Joel was before he got all murdery on account of the apocalypse. Volume 12 dropped? Ooh. Got that. He was always- yeah, he was always doing murders like this before. His other daughter was actually even more traumatized than Ellie, on account of she grew up around him. There we go. You have them all because you make bad financial decisions. That's true. Thanks for subscribing, by the way. Yeah, she, you're right. She did sell uh, sell hardcore drums to buy him that watch. <laughs> We're about to get that do guns work fine underwater question answered very quickly. Up. Yep, they work fine wet. Whoa! I'm so proud of you! I shot the hell out of that guy, huh? You sure did! Baby, you did so good!
I feel sick. And you just hang back like I told I'm you. I'm so proud of her. Well, you're glad I didn't, right? I'm glad I didn't get my head blown off by a goddamn kid. You know what? No. How about, hey, Ellie, I, I know it wasn't easy, but it was either him or me. Thanks for saving my ass. You got anything like that for me, Joel? I love her. We gotta get going. Lead the way. She honestly, she, she is just like me. She reminds me of myself. I like her. Yeah, I remember when I shot my first guy who was strangling my proxy dad. You never forget your first time, you know? Take Dexter and Neville to your mom's. Or Neville, probably. Don't worry, we take good care of her. Fiscal highlights. Ooh, wow, year three is looking great. This is actually the graph for the stream for the new year. We're going all the way to the top, baby. Wait there, okay? Number go up, that's right. We love to see the number go up, folks. Yes, we do. Retro waves with a follow. Thank you so much. Welcome aboard. The name like retro waves, frankly, you'll fit right in here once we start playing like DOS alone in the dark or dark seed or next time we hop into some sort of weird, bizarre retro hole that we so often fall into as a channel. Ooh, what is this? Oh, comic books for my surrogate daughter. Sweetie, I found one of those, uh, the books with the pictures you like. One of your little picture books. Oh yeah, Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, the horror soft game. We need to get back out, find that bridge. Yes, yeah, yes, found one of them man guys you like. Lights on. <laughs> what are those dojins? Oh no. What's this? Melee weapon upgraded. Modifications last one. Ooh, awesome. Now there's a reason to modify stuff. I was thinking that the the like upgraded weapon modification was just like not worth it. Uh but if it's going to last for two hits now, it is worth it. Yeah, yeah. Ellie, I found a mango. Those books you keep reading. bricks. This game could do with a tournament arc, yeah. <laughs> like a shonen. 
We get to finally see Joel's stand. Damn, I'll be able to get there with this. My stand, Master Killer. After the Marauder album, Master Killer. Allows me to generate an unbreakable energy shiv. Which I then stab you with. Joel heals quicker with a brick in hand? Is, is it only the brick, or does the bottle do that too? Or should I be, like, hunting for healing bricks? Got him. <laughs> Got him. Yeah, right. Yeah, hey, about a hand. You sure you can trust me with that? Ellie. Push. I am. Push harder. There, how's that? Yeah, Joel, Last of Us. Let's go. Man, Joel has no has like no ability to talk to kids. <sighs> Good thing he doesn't have any of his own. There we go. <laughs> sorry everybody, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's been twenty years, it's not too soon. Yeah, it cuts into his brooding time. Don't talk to me, Ellie. I'm going prestige television mode. A path. What about me? You stay here. This is so stupid. We'd have more of a fucking chance if you let me help. I am. And you seem to know your way around a gun. You reckon you can handle that? Well, I sort of shot a rifle before, but it was at rats. Rats? With BBs. Well, it's the same basic concept. Lift it up. All right, now, you're going to lean right into that stock because it is going to kick a hell of a lot more than any baby rifle. Okay. Uh, go ahead and pull the bolt back. Grab it right there. Just tug it. Aw, they're having as as father-daughter time. You're going to want to get another round in there quick. Listen to me. If I get into trouble down there, you make every shot count. Yeah. I got this. I love them. They're so cute together. Right. And just so we're clear about back there, it was either him or me. God, he's so handsome. You're welcome. This grave is really good at making you do whatever like the, the found family equivalent of shipping is. You just, like, really want them to become a family. Alright, well. 
Sure, shame that you guys are all going to get turned into fertilizer here, but... You know, that's what happens when you cross me. What if they did? Maybe some military gonna go. But who an idiot? Boy, Thor doesn't give a damn about this place. Is that daddy issue show? I ha I me and my dad hang out all the time. Me and my dad are tight. <laughs> we didn't get along when I was younger, though, so I get the I get the kind of uh, the kind of divorced parents uh, two Christmases experience of having a great relationship with my father, but also having just enough daddy issues to be fun on the internet. Yeah, I am a second generation gamer. My dad did raise me to play Super Nintendo, for, like since I was a child. He hugs them to sleep, precisely. I'm just horny in general. Yeah, fairies, fairies just like this. Yeah, I have like a, li a light outer glaze of daddy issue, but the core is all healthy family. Can you switch left or right hand with the guns? I don't remember how to do that. They told us how, like, how to do it earlier. I don't remember how to change which shoulder you're aiming over. What can you do? I could use the bow, I guess, because it doesn't make any sound. Let's sneak in. It is not pull the right trigger to switch shoulders. Do not try to get me. I see you. I see what you're doing. Woo! God, that felt good. That shot was great. Joel would have put that shot on his TikTok if he could. I assume in this world you use TikTok to show off the cool murders you do. All right, well, let's slip away quietly after missing with the bow. Not bad. It's R1. Ah, thank you. That's very helpful. So nice that Joel just turns out to be ambidextrous. Really helpful for him, you know? Shh, go to sleep forever. Joel, hey, you find anything? You there? I'm sorry in advance, guys. Shit. Ah! Little help, Ellie! He did- yeah, that, he dipped that really good, that first hit. Oh, there we go! a girl! God, I'm so proud of my murder daughter. You'd be think- you, she's doing, uh, murders at like a 18-year-old level, and she's only 14. I'm so proud of her. Yeah, man. Cool. That sounds great. See ya. No. Ouch! Give me that. I want that. 
shit. Stop beating me up. Ah! No, all right, more guys than I thought. This happens to be all the time in this game, Rob. Like, there's like four guys. Easy. I'll just clear them out. And then there's not. There's like 12 guys. Wait, wait, wait. I respawned here? What's what's going on? Why would I respawn here? Okay. Too many guys. <laughs> in a fight. They counted my kills? Oh, cool. That's all that matters. Yeah, in a, in a fight, right? Precisely. Oh shit, never mind. Ah, alright, I didn't do that as well as I could have. I didn't realize it was gonna make a sound that would alert them. I thought it was silent. Yeah, the guy phased through a window. Yeah, look out, tourist! I like that they call them tourists, it's a fun touch. We just, you know, we like to have fun here in the, the post-apocalypse or whatever. <laughs> That's right. Lay down. Lay down, princess. All right, let's med kit ourselves up. Yeah, I like the guy who phased through the closed window. That was a good look. Man down, man down. Fan out. Yeah, it's crazy you don't crack necks in this, but I guess you know cracking necks is actually kind of like a. It's like action movie stuff, where strangling somebody is much more like... ...probably an actual way that would happen. Yeah, man, take it easy, be cool. You too. Oh, I was- You know, I just was about to ask, can he get away? The answer is yes. Smell a vision. Oh, shit! <sighs> All right, fix fix her body, fix her body. All right, we're back. All right, smell a vision. There we go. I got plenty of rounds of the old shoddy. But maybe I won't bother with that. Maybe I'll just do this. Horrible way to go. You, yeah, at least sniping the other. All right, come on down. You did great, baby. You killed a man. God, you're so cool. Morning, six 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 star. Welcome. You've come to the right place. This is Bloodberry Tart, where it's all horror all the time. And we're so happy to have you. I'm your Elvira. I'm Barry, and welcome aboard. She looks so sad. Why? We just got to do a father daughter activity.
Gamer Hi, Ghoul friend, welcome aboard. How about something uh, a little more your size? It's for emergencies only. Turtle Nom Nom with the follow, Hi. thank you. Welcome aboard. So nice to see all these fresh faces today. Now, now the safety zone, uh, you, do you know how to switch it off? I do. Okay, you just, you gotta respect it. This is not a- Joel, I'll be careful. Okay. She immediately puts her hand in front of them. She, she takes the gun, like, this is, this is a gun. You need to be safe with it. She's like, oh, what, a gun? What, I don't really, oh. like, oh, no, stop. <laughs> oh, why? I wanted to see if it tastes like anything. What are you freaking out about? I told you guys about the, the, the H.C. Justin thing, right? Where he, uh... Our lawyer was in his chat, and he's like, Oh, oh, Noah's in the chat! My lawyer's in the chat! Hey, Noah, am I allowed to do this? And he takes- he reaches out of frame of his stream, and picks up a fake gun, and points it at his camera. <laughs> his lawyer's in the chat like, No! No, no! He's like, what do you mean? And he starts pulling the hammer back on it. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, Dan says Brian, sit on it because after this, I'm probably going to uh, probably going to play the second one right away. So, you know, with the show coming out, it just seems like a perfect time to be playing some Last of Us. I've taken the rifle back from Ellie, he also swept the barrel directly in front of her face. Yeah, it's true. Why is this game not out on PC yet? Because it is made by Naughty Dog, who are owned by Sony. And the only reason Sony games have come to PC in the past is because there's been a shortage of PS5s. And they are claiming that the PS5 shortage is over, so we'll see. If whether or not uh, games keep coming to the PC from Sony's properties or not. It probably will come. Yeah, Karn, you're right. Eventually, it probably will come. But the supply of PS5s, I think, will determine how quickly things make their way to the PC. The best trip is when a, a uh, intense gunman tends to be a novelty lighter. It's like when you you have somebody take out a switchblade and it's a comb. Classic for a reason. If you're enjoying the stream, consider following, subscribing, or making a small donation to help keep us going. We are user funded and supported. Thank you guys so much. Oh yeah, The Last of Us, yeah, got, it's coming, yeah, March 3rd. They announced that at uh, Game Awards. All right, do your thing, Ellie. <laughs> On it. <sighs> Stupid chain is stuck. Uh, Hold on. I am. There. Good thinking. I'm so proud of her. She's so smart and resourceful, and she's murdering well above her grade level. I am so proud of her. We we'll clearly have to go up this way. 
Like you want what? You want to have some little conversation? Wait, where did you get that knife? You have a you have a butterfly you knife? No, I agree. We should get you up there. We just, I don't see where the the trigger is for it. It's PS Five on a store shelf for the first time. Hell yeah, nature's healing. All right, Ellie. How do I let you up here? <laughs> it seems like it should just be I hit the triangle button right here, but nothing's popping up. What do you want from me, girl? What does Naughty Dog have in mind for me that I'm not getting? Oh, move the laundry cart. Okay. Help me open this. Here. I thought I was just gonna right. boost her. Got it. Yeah, downstairs, Brian, I will agree that the voice acting in this is, like, above and beyond, you know, most games. Like, even some games that I think are very class emotionally impactful classics don't have voice acting even close to this. Like, Silent Hill 2, I think, is a storytelling classic in the realm of video games, but God knows the voice acting isn't even close to this. But the voice acting in that is kind of Lynchian on purpose. Hmm. Play Silent Hill. It's great. I do. I play Silent Hill on this stream every October for Halloween. Gonna recoil down on my shotgun. My shotgun's definitely my most used gun. Really good footage of the mocap where the daughter dies at the start of the game, the actors play out a super emotional scene, and then stand up and do a T-pose for calibration. <laughs> Whoa! Head down, yeah. Busy couple of days, huh? <sighs> Whatever, man. Damn, God. Food. How do they have like Jeez. a warthog from Halo? It's ridiculous. Let's go. Yeah, it almost seems like man is the real monster or something. Oh man. There ain't nothing we could have done. I know. It's just Oh man. Let's just get to that bridge. Um... There's nothing we could have Yeah, but I still witnessed another murder. Ellie, how are you still upset by the murders? I've done like a hundred murders in front of you now. Every time we turn a corner, I do six murders. Come on. Get over it. Yeah, see, a lot of people say in zombie settings that like, you know, man is the real monster. But what a lot of people don't realize is actually the real monster is, is monsters. Let's fucking do the math. Ha ha ha! There better have been an army in that truck. How the fuck did they wipe out the entire crew over there? Joel Hunters, yeah, truly. Alright. 
Make another shiv. Upgrade another melee weapon. And let's whip up some med kits, baby. You know I love a delicious med kit. Human resources. I'm gonna go report these guys to human resources. They're gonna make them have a really scathing one-on-one -on -one meeting. I agree they should teach you how to craft med kits in school. They should also teach you how to add, uh... To add shit to make shivs and to add blades to your weapons. <sighs> Nothing back here. Yes, if you, yeah, take random drugs you find on the street and they let you raise all kinds of skills. And they also give you echolocation. I met someone who gave themselves the title Chief, Chief People Officer. Never makes fun of them behind their back. Very funny. Dawn of the Wolf Part 2. Or the man I killed. He is a bit nice with it. The McGruff emote. Well, it's, yeah, the, the origin of the McGruff emotes is that I I found that old. Uh, McGruff the Crime Dog album from the 80s and it I posted about it and went viral and then McGruff the Crime Dog followed me. At some point I should bring McGruff the Crime Dog on the stream if she would come on. I was tooling with the idea of uh, bringing McGruff the Crime Dog on the stream, and the, I, I I wrote I started writing notes because like if I bring a guest on, I write notes for questions, and the, the, the McGruff the Crime Dog note in my phone contains only two questions. Um, one of is how has your opinion on marijuana evolved with the sweeping legalization state by state across the country, and the second one was is it okay to do a little bit of drugs as a treat. <laughs> I don't know where we are yet, baby. You don't gotta be scared. They're gonna come running here, yeah, but we're just gonna go around the other way. Oh, there's a fence here. God damn it. Alright, well, that's fine. I'll still just drop back here and do more uh, sneaky shots before they can get a beat on me. I mean, what was the easy way? You shoot and kill me? The hard way sounds way better, considering your your standard plan for this. Alright. Right. 
McGruff, what's your- I mean, I, I already figure I, I know McGruff's stance on poppers, which is that you shouldn't do them. You're dead. <laughs> I wanna- I should ask McGruff how he feels about nootropics. They're, dr they're drugs that make your brain better, McGruff. What do you think of that? Reload. Yeah, Ellie jumped on that guy and started stabbing. It's because she's my girl. That's my daughter, baby. She takes after her old man. Wanton murder. Crowbot Rock, I think if I said that to McGruff the crime dog, they would send police officers to my house to assassinate me. And I, and I wouldn't even be able to entirely disagree with their decision. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Youchies. Ouchie. My... Hey, Echo. It's going well. Playing Last of Us. It's very good. It's my first time. Hey man, you wanna walk towards the window, maybe? Maybe, what if you like meandered a little bit closer to the window? Wouldn't that be cool? There he goes. Fuck. Oh, I think he had a Molotov. I blew it up in his hands. Look at the fire in there. Whoops. Uh oh. Whoopsie. Ah, uh, I must have hit your your neck or something and not your head. There we go. That's more like it. This the bolt action is goaded in this. The scissors upgrade to the pipe is really funny. You just like tape it on. Ah, oh, shit. I ran out of ammo. There we go. Yeah, sniping is very good in this. No kidding. He runs the- yeah, he runs the bolt like nobody's business. Put some rounds in our revolver. Oh, we got downtime. Their cells reloaded. Honestly, maybe heal, just in case. I don't want to get caught in a situation where I get my head blasted off and I gotta do all this fighting over again. Whoa, still a guy left. Okay, I didn't realize you were still there. Is that it for you? Are you... Are you... Oh, yep. We're in survival. That's right. What? Oh, and it comment looked like.
I think, do we have bow rounds? I switched off of it because we ran out. Oh, we have one arrow. I might as well switch it to that in the slot because it's better than having a gun with zero. But yeah, I used most of my bow quietly picking off guys in the last area where she had the rifle. I'm so proud of her. She's doing so good. Jeez. This game is making me realize that maybe I should be a middle-aged man who murders people all the time. And has a surrogate daughter, who I also teach to murder people, and not, don't really do any other parenting. I think I'd be really good at it. You can scavenge the bodies you kill with arrow- Oh, good to know, thank you. Like me and Tess, yeah, totally. I should make a point to send to Tess that, uh, the emotes of her. So that she can have them on her channel, too. Death for freedom. Lost. Bunch of military skeletons. Yeah, come here, Ellie. Okay. Woo! There go. Very good. Take some paper. Truck note. What's that? Finish scouring the city for any survivors. There are a handful of soldiers hiding in the hotel. We took care of them. A bunch of us raided their stockade, or what was left of it. Most of the big machines got fucked up in the fighting. We won't be riding a tank anytime soon. Likewise, none of the heavy artillery is salvageable. One exception, though, is the Humvee. We managed to repair it, including the 50 cal mounted gun. This thing is impenetrable. I'd like to see someone fuck with us now. People love to leave notes in this world. Has any have any games like this had you go through people's cell phones yet to like read their text messages? I feel like that would be a modern way you could do this. Oh, it's a shift door. Yeah, let me in. Yeah, journaling is super popular in this world. Whoa, 50 gun parts. Well worth spending a shiv on. I can just make another one. Crafting. I, You know, I, I don't really do any combat crafting, so I'm not worried about that. You, yeah. No, you're right, Demos. If I was in an apocalypse, I would leave a bunch of notes about what's going on, um, and then I would find a good place for my skeleton to go after I die to do environmental storytelling, and I would go, maybe I'll get some paint, and I would paint on a wall, like, they lied to us, or, like, we're all going to die, or, like, cut off their limbs. I would maybe I would like write a note that has like a safe combination on it. And then like leave that note and or, or maybe not. Maybe I'd be like, no, I can't just write this code in my notes. That would be ridiculous. So instead I leave like a like a tw 20 to 30 second audio recording where I say the code to the safe in it. And then maybe you could like find that on like a PC. I stayed at a place like this. Watch Dog did that with phones? Very cool. We have not escaped Boston yet, and the worst thing is we're no longer fighting zombies. We're fighting something even worse. Bostonians. Let's go through the alley. 
Oh, we're going through the alley? Okay, which means this is just a way to go check out then. I'm gonna go look. Oh, it's locked. Never mind. So well, let's look around this corner. Anything over here? Trash, garbage. Trash, more garbage, more trash. Do yeah, exactly. I was thinking of Doom 3 when I was saying that. I've talked to you guys about how Doom 3 is the only Doom I've ever played, or until- I've played Doom Eternal now, but until this year, Doom 3 was the only Doom I ever played. I didn't understand why everyone hated it so much. I was like, this is a perfectly fine horror game. It's because it's not supposed to be a horror game. I have not tried the OJ. How the hell you have 24 cans of bacon? Military huh. All right, I actually got to use the restroom real quick. I'll be right back. If you want to go ahead and spam your favorite animated emotes until I get back, I'd really appreciate that. Enjoy the jams. And we are back. Thanks so much, everyone. Oh, yes, those, the emotes that people are using uh, text for are BTTV emotes. It is an extension you can get on your, uh, on your browser that allows you to see additional emotes. We mostly just have it for Big Frog, though. We had a user that was very s insistent, who is on our mod team now, so we got it. It's, he's talking about how good bacon is. He's like a, he's a 2010 guy. He'll behave better for me than Je well, yeah. 
I, I, I was talking to Jesse one time. Jesse was like, I feel like all of my viewers just like rip on me and don't respect me. I was like, how about you just like, don't tell them to do that all the time. <laughs> how about you don't like actively encourage that culture at all times? He's, yeah, it, it, this is the epic mealtime guy. This is like an alternate universe where he didn't get to make epic mealtime like how the apocalypse happened. Lights off. Oh, that's the Humvee, eh? Alright, well... I suppose that is a thing we should avoid. I do, yeah, we do love Jesse here. I gave Jesse a VIP badge just today. Will Jesse do the same for me? I doubt it. Ungrateful. But still, I did it out of the goodness of my heart. God damn it! Well, whatever. A murder's a murder. Surround him. No shit. shit. Come on, camera. There we go. Come Jesus Christ, camera angle. Can I get a shot without Joel's head in it? Thank you. Yeah, shut up. Whoa, whoa, man! You Jackie Chan me dodging my attack. Yes! At a girl! God, I love to murder with my daughter. This is what father daughter bonding is really about. Molly Sheila, hello! Hey, everybody. New catchphrase I'm working on for greeting this chat. It's great. We love it. It's the Dark Souls of Zombie games to say a camera is a major obstacle. Yeah, it's fair. That's right, Nightbot. Our beloved Tess is moving to her own channel. There will be no Tess streams on this channel this weekend. They will, however, be on her new channel, which is right there in the chat. You should go ahead and follow that right now. You may remember Tess is the one who played Dark Souls with triple enemies that all know where you are. Or Dark Souls, but you're only allowed to use a bow. Or Dark Souls, but you can't level up. Oh no, it turned and looked right at me. Uh, what do I do about this thing? God, shit, I just sneaked by it. Alright, that seems reasonable.
Oh god, that actually scared me. I got home scared. Mmm. We call that pro gaming, baby. Use Joel Vision. Executed. Yeah, I was thinking that, like, are it, it, she thinks she, they said this thing, she has like a 50 cal turret on it. Are, those are made to shoot at like airplanes and tanks and stuff. But then again, you know, if it was actually a 50 cal turret, this part would be impossible because it would just shred through anything you try to hide behind. So I get why they were not realistic. Good night. Yeah, snake. I mean, Joel. Be mindful of that cannon. It can shred a man in half. Whew. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop it. Stop shooting at me. Get over yourself, man. What? Just get over it. The 50 cal can they had to replace it because they couldn't get enough 50 cal bullets. I mean that would make sense. Like where where does where do you get 50? Like the amount of bullets that thing puts out. Oh hydrate. Thank you for the hydrate. As always, if you're enjoying the stream, consider a like, a subscription, or a donation. We're a user supported stream and we really appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching. Alright, anyway. Time to go murder and be murdered. So yeah, you can grow food, but you can't grow bullets. I'm always baffled that food is scarce and precious, but bullets apparently flow like water in these types of- Yeah, that's why I liked uh, the Metro system. Metro- I forgot what it's called. Metro 2043 or something like that. Where uh, bullets were money. Like, that makes perfect sense to me. Good night, Jis. Thanks for watching. SDP with the $10.69 donation. Thank you so much. It is donations like that that keep the stream going. And when you use the donate link, 100% of it goes to the streamer. And none of it goes to Jeff Bezos. It's America. Well, I mean, it, it, if this was a, a year after the apocalypse started, I wouldn't be surprised. But it's been 20 years. I feel like the bullets would just eventually, you know, start to run out. We did it. Way to go, Dad. Alright, come on. Shimmy across. Ugh, Daddy, please. Jesus, do you go this way? 
Okay, we go this way, I guess, instead of the, the, the obvious way. But why why are you offering me the shimmy this way? There doesn't seem like there's anything over here. Metro Exit. I haven't ever played the Metro games. I just love the concept. Can I do that on this side now? Will you, Joel? Will you please? There we go. Thank you. Metro game, yeah, the uh, Metro games being survival horror, that makes sense. I mean, living in post-apocalypse is pretty much inherently a survival horror. I'll have to check it out, Demos. I, like, conceptually, I've always loved it. I've just never played the game. We're okay. They can't see us. Oh, God. All right. Take it easy. It's all right. They're not the bad guys. Lower the gun. Man, you hit hard. Yeah, well, I was <laughs> trying to kill you. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, I thought you were one of them, too. Then I saw you. If you haven't noticed, they don't keep kids around. Survival of the fittest. Ugh. You're bleeding. Ah, it's, it's nothing. I'm Henry. This is Sam. I think I caught your name was Joel. Ellie. How many are with you? They're all dead. Hey, we don't know that. There were a bunch of us. Someone had the brilliant idea of entering the city. Looked for supplies. Those fuckers, they ambushed us. <clears throat> Scattered us. Now it's all about getting out of this shithole. We can help each other. Ellie. Safety in numbers and all that. She's right. We could help each other. We gotta hide out not too far from here. Be safer if we chat there. All right, take us there. Follow me. Sorry. In survival, though, we're not allowed to kill. Well, they—they they sh you see a kid get killed right at the beginning of this game. It's like kind of a big plot point. But I imagine they probably couldn't get away with a lot of kids being killed. But honestly, it's for the best, because if Ellie could get killed in combat, this game would be so much more annoying. That kid was weak as fuck, though. <laughs> Molotov radius is now 1.5 times bigger. Hell yeah. Ellie can be killed. Okay, well, she does not, certainly does not, be, is not killed readily in firefights, that's for sure. There we go. Zombie zombies can kill Ellie because they can, I've seen them grab her in the part where we were with Bill, so they can. We just haven't had it happen. But it seems as though like 
uh, guys with guns like don't aggro on her or something, which is you know for the best. Elizabeth. Oh yeah, by that's that was the Bioshock that has the waifu, right? I never played that one. You shiv. Yep. Sweet. Let's get our free treasure from this house we broke into. Yep. 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 Give me up. Yep. Yep. Ooh, more pills. Let's go. We love it. For those of you who are just joining us, you can take any random pills in the world. And they allow you to unlock new skills and abilities. It doesn't even seem to matter what kind of pills they are. That's what I learned from The Last of Us. I'm kidding. Don't do pills. Noah, if you see this, don't get mad at me. Alright. Yeah, Flintstones gummy. Level up. Troy Baker's Booker and Bioshock. Oh, real. Interesting. Yeah, I should- I'll discuss that with- uh, Yeah, I should bring up the mechanics of this game with McGruff the Crime Dog. We are mutuals. It kicks ass to, like, look at my followers and be like, Alright, someone I know from streaming. You know, someone I met at con. Uh, I got a reply from my friend from high school. I got a reply from McGruff the Crime Dog. <laughs> Shit kicks ass. It's very funny to me every time. There we go. Bioshock. I never played Bioshock Infinite. But I know it's very well regarded, so I'm sure it's good. I just haven't played it myself. Wait, wait. Everyone be quiet. Get away from the windows. <sighs> They're gone. It's one of the most 2013 yeah, games ever truck. made. It's been hounding us ever since we got in this damn... Sam, what are you doing? Nothing. Get rid of it. My backpack is practically empty. What's the rule about taking stuff? It weighs like nothing. The rule? What is it? We only take what we have to. That's right. Now come on. How far is this place? We're close. Real close. Jack and Daxter board game. Naughty dog moment. Uncharted board game. Where's the way of the warrior board game? Ah, yes, of course, Panda Patriot. Or no, Panda Patrol. The sequel is Panda Patriot. Face is going to be an emote now. Demos. Check the emotes in the recent chat. It formed a curve, yeah. Shit. Whoa! Lucky Bond with the raid! Oh, Hello, everyone. Stay with her. I'm Bloodberry Tart, your Elvira from Modern and Retro Horror Gaming. I'm so excited to have you guys here. Fun crew! I love fun crew. What are you guys playing over there? Lord Crimson Fox, thank you for the follow.
But yeah, for a very important raid indeed. Welcome aboard. Oh wait, that's our guy. Shit. <laughs> I'm not used to having a another guy. We soft locked a weird game called Oh Drown God, you were posting about that. I saw Get Get off of my surrogate daughter. Yeah, I'll show you the door. That's a weird game called Drown God. I have to check what when is it from? You love to dive into like the weird old retro horror properties just like I do. So I love to uh you gotta start over? You have to start the whole thing over? Oh no. I'm sorry. It happens. You unfortunately cannot hide in a box like Snake. I wish. That's the one thing this game's really missing. You saved during a Walking Dead scenario. Oh no. Point and click horror. Yeah, point and click horror is great. I love uh I love like the horror soft games. I th that's like one of those, you know, like everyone is reviving all these old aesthetics of various old games. So I'm gonna bring back the like the Waxworks Elvira Mistress of the Dark Horror Soft aesthetic. Save your Well, I'm sorry to hear that are you going to try to do it again on stream? Are you going to, to right your wrong on stream? Locked. Ugh. Curses. Back up. Pick it up. Oh yeah, back up. Pick it up next week. That's the right call. Give yourself a little bit of a uh, recovery time. Okay, we can get it. No, this is locked. So nice to have it. Well, I, I at least appreciate you raiding into me after your. Uh, your drowning experience. We're always happy to have you. Lights on. Oh, this game's so pretty. This is my first. I'm playing uh, Walking Dead for the very first time. Or not Walking Walking Dead. This really is like Walking Dead. Uh, Last of Us for the very first time. It's really cool. I like having a daughter. I like teaching her how to do murders. I think it's a lot of fun. We could get over this wall on these. There we go. Man, why did you get up here? You were just been up here, you'd tell me? Whoa! There we go. Yeah, the last walk. It's melodramatic, but not that melodramatic, yeah. She is the best murder daughter. I love our daughter who does murders with us so much. She's so cute. And she kills them so good. Alright. What do we have here? That's for onward and upwards, folks. There we go. 100 bits. The family that slays together stays together. That's so true, Dream. It, like, I don't know. I, I think it's cute because it like reminds me, like, I see Joel, like, you sure it's safe? teaching his daughter, or, there? you know, you teaching Ellie to use a rifle. And where'd you get that? A kill boy. And, like, you know, doing, you doing now. shiv murders in front of her. And, like, strangling men to death in front of her. And it, it just, like, reminds me of, like, you know, when I was a kid and, and my dad and I would do shiv murders. And shoot guns at, you know, various hunters and scavengers and innocent people. Uh, it just, I don't know. It's nostalgic for me. All right. I am. I'm just kidding. The people weren't innocent in the eyes of God. Nothing in here. Yay, more pills! I love the mechanic in this game that any pills you find at all make you stronger.
kind of office pool? Interesting. Here we are. Okay. Want to let us in? There we go. I was sorry. I was in your kill zone. I guess. Welcome to my office. Love to be in your office. How long have you guys been holed up in here? A few days. We found a bit of food, though. Here. Blueberries. Found a whole stash of them. You want some? No. Hey, man, relax. We're safe. So why haven't you left? Been waiting for the right opportunity. And? Here. Check this out. Yeah, since my daughter died, I don't eat food anymore. All I do is brood. I, I run on brooding now. Look at these sons of bitches. Every day they congregate down there, guarding that damn bridge. Come nighttime, it's down to a skeleton crew. After sunset, that's our window. Most of them gone, sneak right past them. That could work. Oh, it'll work. It'll definitely work. <laughs> Wow. Oh Alright, ready? Oh. Ow! <laughs> a blueberry hurt you? It's been a while since that boy even cracked a smile. She doesn't seem bothered by all this. So where were you heading? I heard the fireflies are based out west somewhere. We're gonna join up with them. Something funny? It just seems like there's a lot of people putting their stock on the fireflies these days. Yeah, maybe there's a reason for that. So you don't know where they are, and you're just gonna drag him across the country to find them? I tell you what, how about I worry about my brother, you worry about your girl. Easy. We're looking for the fireflies, too. This is us. Okay. There's an abandoned military radio station just outside the city. Any survivors from our group, they're supposed to meet us there tomorrow. You and your girl, you want to join us. It goes down tonight. I guess we best rest up then. He says it's time to go. You know, we're gonna be moving fast, okay? So no matter what, you stick to me like glue. Like glue. Like glue. Got it. Good. Good. All right. Y'all ready? Yeah. As I'll ever be. Okay. All right, y'all stay close, okay? You yes, tried sir. This before? Uh, yeah. That's comforting. <laughs> Relax, old man. I just hope you know the way. You did not say anything in this tree. I just wanted to, I, I wanted to head it off if it was coming, was more what it was. Ah, it was your cat that. Yeah, that's fair. This way. It says a Super Mario Brothers prequel. That scans. That that checks out. I'm sure that's what happens. Yeah, this game. This, what's this? That's everyone's always talking about how sad Last of Us is because it's just so much, so cool and so much fun, and you feel left out. That said, we're going to be making our big escape here soon, it looks like. Which is pretty cool. But I will say, 
it's getting to be about that time for us. So I think that we'll have to leave the rest of this for tomorrow. Computer, play the scary music. Put me in the dungeon. Thank you, computer. As always, thank you guys so, so much. It's been great. I am Bloodberry Tart. We're all horror all the time here, and thank you guys so much for coming along in this vibe with me. Send out a raid. Alright. Thank you guys so much. As always, I'll be back here tomorrow, same time, same place. It's been a pleasure. If you liked what you saw, consider hitting that follow button. And I'll see you all tomorrow. You have a great evening. Stay safe, okay? Bye.